road goes ever on and on Down from the door where it began Now far ahead the road has gone And I must follow if I can Our journey through Middle Earth continues tonight <laughs> The internet is a buzz uh, A with Kate's ears, which look incredible I right don't know, now. man, Joe, do you want me to wear these ears or not? It's your call Are they a big deal to you if I don't wear them? I insisted that the ears were vital to the performance of the show this evening. Uh, and uh, I didn't want them hidden under these uh, studio headphones. And Kate came up with what I think is an absolutely brilliant solution. So uh, for the audio audience, her hobbit ears are on the outside of her on studio monitor headphones. Her. <laughs> I she think looks- on my feet, I'm innovative. It's no, it's an innovative solution. You look more like you should be in Snarf Quest than in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it's a very deep nerd like, cut. Like a, a deer or like a You cow. look like something. I can't sweet put tooth, my finger sweet on tooth it. Sweet tooth or something. I don't you, know. You can't, you can't have it both ways, but maybe we you can. can. You can. There you go. You can't have it both ways. They're there well, in I spirit. made it clear to Kate that it was fine whether she wore the ears or not, because there is nothing in Tolkien's text <laughs> to suggest that hobbits have anything other than normal ears. The pointy weird ears are a complete contrivance by Peter Jackson. That's Yeah, Joe. Lies. So, it's all lies. <laughs> but I don't want to waste any more time because I the internet, the other thing the internet has been abuzz this week about is our surprise special guest. There have been oh, hundreds yeah. Yeah. of guesses ranging from Russell Crowe to Billy Boyd to uh, New York <laughs> One's Pat Kiernan. None of these have been correct. Oh. Why did you spoil that it wasn't Pat Kiernan? Damn I know. It. Well, lot, that was the number one choice on the poll. So I just wanted to get that clear out, right out of, off the bat. Mm-hmm. I want to reveal this person is better than any of those people. And I would true. like to reveal who that person is now. Oh, oh no! Oh, what? What? What happened? Wait, what? Why? Where am I? Hello. How did you get to your home from New York One Studios so quickly? That's true. I mean, I was, I, you know, I, I'm also. Skid told me everyone's gonna wear a costume, and I'm like, oh no. Oh no! And all I had like, was I'm going to go costume. as a Macy's so, elf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, hello, thank you, thank you, thank you thank for you. inviting me. Yeah. I know, I know. I mean, I was sitting there thinking, like, what if I had been Russell Crowe? Like, what if I had went as Russell Crowe as Santa? What a what a what a thing that would have been. That would have been a no. real no. mind blower. That would have been a mind blower. But thank you, Skid, for having me. I am unbelievably excited to be here. <laughs> yeah, I really, really wanted to involve you. The, the plan was to have you involved from the beginning, but it, that wasn't possible because of scheduling. So I am very glad that we are able to incorporate you uh, yeah, finally. I, uh, yeah, it was a little embarrassing because uh, I uh, and I haven't done this in, uh, since I was 18. And, and uh, I found out my boyfriend at the time cheated on me. Uh, I called Skid and left him a voicemail <laughs> message, <laughs> crying. Oh I was like, Very emotional. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Oh. I was like, why? I'm so sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> that was a fun reminder. <laughs> I said, we have to fix this. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> So I'm yeah, glad. Guys, who uh, cheated on you? I'm coming over. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> why? So. Maybe we should dox him. I don't know. Is that pr- frowned upon still to dox Generally, people? Generally, <laughs> I think. What? I mean, this is, well, the statute of limitations may have expired, though, depending oh. if you were 18. So, yeah. I don't want to age you uh, or anything, but uh, yeah. go ahead and dox him. Go, dox him if you like. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Well, Eric, if you're watching. <laughs> oh, see? Oh, oh, that really narrows it down. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Yeah, wow. actually. Yep. Well, screw that guy. Anyway, well, I'm here. I'm here to play the One Ring. And I, yeah, I've been excited to play this game since the Kickstarter. Um, like, that, I think that was in March or February of 2021. And mm-hmm. I I splurged and I got the limited edition for like $115. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Which is nice. the most I've spent on a book my entire life. <laughs> and it hasn't arrived yet, but we'll see. So, and you're the um, only one yeah. who's played this game before. 
this that this see that's here. what makes this like the fact that I wasn't be able to be part of this from the start is that I had prepared so hard <laughs> to be part of this like I yeah. pl- like I play tested it I had done all these things to be like you know what for the one ring I shall be the wor- the woman who knows the rules and then it like I couldn't do it and I'm like god damn it uh, yeah. but I'm very excited to play uh, well but, we're very glad yeah. you're here. Glad you could join yeah. us live yeah, via satellite from the North Pole. It's a Christmas <laughs> miracle. And what is Santa Claus is like we're saying. It's like kind of dwarfish elements there. You've got a beard. Yeah. He's like yeah. Chevy Chase, right? Um, <laughs> 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 no, wait. Wait. Okay. Not Chevy Chase. Like, what? <laughs> wait, that's the only American Santa I know. Wait, is that a... Not- <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody say anything. Ellie, just keep going. Uh-huh. How, how is Santa like Chevy Chase? No, he killed Santa and then he became... <laughs> then he became Santa. Wait, this is a movie that exists. I'm... What? Maybe I should look at. Uh, is that this a Jim a Carrey movie? movie? No, it's Tim no, Allen. No, no. I'm trying oh, to think. Tim, Tim Allen. Allen. Santa Claus. The Santa the Tim Claus. Allen. Yes, the Santa Claus. Yes. Tim Allen. Okay. I, okay. Okay. <laughs> that, we were all wondering. <laughs> okay, well. I'm glad that we uh, straightened that out, and and thank you again for joining us from Chevy okay. Chase, Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the f- last episode, we talked to everybody about their favorite scene in Tolkien, whether the books or the movies. So, Ellie, since you're here now, why don't you give us your favorite scene? From, Ooh. From, oh, from the oh, my God. From, from uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I have a list of 10, but I'll start with number one. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, there's a couple. Obviously, the one you have to mention is when they're going to the Bridge of Casa Doom. And actually, the whole scene that you know, begins with to the Bridge of Casa Doom. Oh, yeah. To the Bridge of Casa Doom, uh, to Aragorn and Frodo finally making it over uh, by like, leaning weirdly on that stone, which physically, like, it me- doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But who cares? Fuck, fuck right. scientists. <laughs> and, I don't take then, it as that actually worked. I think it's just like, we might as well. We might as exactly. well just throw everything at this problem and just yeah. hope for the best. And yeah. then they make it to the bridge where, you know, Gandalf has his final battle, which is, Mm -hmm. spoilers, sorry, but that's what happens. Um, (laughs) That is my favorite scene. But then there are, like, small moments I really love. Like, the first time they come up as a fellowship uh, on one of the peaks, and the music is just perfect because it establishes the fellowship for the first time, and it's like... And then you see... Uh, you see Gandalf. Boromir with like the like, shield, like walking yeah. up the mountain. It's like so perfect, you know. Boromir walks by. <laughs> like everyone has, like it's like it's like an introduction in a soap opera, but like super cool fantasy version yeah. of it. Of like yeah, establishing the every and close. Yeah. It's so what everyone I, thinks their D and D adventuring party looks like. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 exactly. I wish they looked that cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's, I think I'm, I'm going to say that that's my favorite moment, uh, of, that's of a good all one. Movie, yeah. Of all movies in, of all time, like, uh, ever, mm. yeah. <laughs> like that's how much I love the first, uh, fellowship of the ring. Uh, yeah. it's, I think that's it's pretty much favorite, what I said too movie. last week was the same, that, that scene. Like I, I oh. thought that that scene, pretty much everything in Moria, but especially that was like the closest to what I had envisioned in my head, reading the book of anything mm. that they did. It was it was amazing. All right. So this week, uh, we have a new topic uh, before we jump into this. So I asked you all to do a little homework. Uh, I asked you all what your favorite character was in all of Tolkien. This should be interesting. So let's start uh, around the corn as I'm uh, the horn as I'm looking at you. Uh, let's talk to Grant. Grant, who is your favorite character? Well, it's clearly Tom Bombadil. Psych! Just kidding. <laughs> what? Um, I, there's two, really. Uh, oh, God. I, the, the, well, uh, I'm just going to be front door and just say, that's Aragorn. I wish I was Aragorn. Aragorn's fucking awesome. He's like <laughs> everything you'd want to be. He's he's married to Arwen. He, ma- he makes an elf rescind her immortality to like live out her days with him. Like he saves yeah. everything. And he's so regal and humble, but also strong when he needs to be. He, he, he has no real flaws that I understand. Uh, Skid, you probably know something from deeper textual readings than I do. Um, but he's everything you'd want to be. Um, um, and then I have another. But no, he, he has no flaws. 
He has no plus. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, I have another one, but I'll wait until, because I don't want to steal anyone else's thunder uh, okay. if it's someone else's. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just love it. I love it. And uh, I also Let's do a draft. Let's do a Tolkien yeah, we should character <laughs> draft. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. I feel like I just took David Robinson number one. Just uh, that's, a, that's an inside right. joke. That's a very deep inside <laughs> Joe is stupid joke. And we don't need to go into any detail. No, no, no. But uh, the, the, other reason why I, for anyone. the other reason why I love Aragorn is because um, I saw the first Lord of the Rings film when I was uh, 16. And I think I was like the first one among my friends to drive. So I drove everyone to the films and I only hung out with girls in high school, uh, young women, I suppose. <laughs> and um, they all were in love with Legolas at the time. They thought it was so beautiful and perfect. And a lot of women still are. And that's fine. But like, I was like, no, he has a beard. That's what I want to be. That's so manly. And so I've always been standing for Aragorn since day one, yeah, because I, all of my friends uh, love Legolas more. Yeah. yeah I, I, I defriended people for liking Legolas. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tell me how. I, I just couldn't stand Orlando Bloom, that stupid ass. I don't know. I, okay. Well, if you guys like Legolas now, it's fine. Go ahead. I will be quiet. Why don't we go through you. everyone's favorite Orlando character before we trash go through Legolas. everyone's favorite first before we start shitting on individual characters? <laughs> Uh, Kate, uh, who, who was just informed of this assignment moments ago, who was your favorite character? Listen, I interpreted this assignment as like, who would I want to marry? It's who is totally the hottest? Legolas. That, that was the implication I was he's going hot, for. He's an elf, he's aloof, and he fights so good. I don't, I'm not All into true. Orlando Broom, I'm Orlando Broom. I'm into this elf guy you having want only an seen elf the husband. movies. I want to help husband, or I would love to be him. I'm not Ooh. sure. I don't know. How, I'm, I'm feeling very confused about my feelings. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> women, women Therapist. want him. Women Therapist. want to be him. <laughs> yeah. Look at Ellie's face. Ellie's like this. You said you would let me like him. You just said that. I said that, but I mean, you're entitled to your wrong opinion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's she's not gonna a get defriended. It's a <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'll unfriend you on Facebook. If we're, I don't even know if we're friends on Facebook. But you know what? I'll send a request. Preemptively. And then I'll Pre remove yeah, preemptively it. Preemptively Are you gonna her follow on me on Twitter? No, I would never do that. Yeah. Because your Just Twitter cancel is the best you way. on Twitter. She'll cancel yeah, I'll you. Yeah, cancel you. Exactly. <laughs> right. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag Kate Stamos dead to me. Kate um, does have a very good Twitter. Everyone should follow yeah. Kate. Yeah. at Hellcat anyway. Kate uh, on Twitter. Yes. Um, wow, it, was, it started off spicy in the pre-show and uh, the spice is, uh, <laughs> oh <God. laughs> spice has flowed. Spice uh, has flowed. <laughs> into, the, <laughs> into the broadcast. Uh, Alicia, who would oh your God. favorite character be? Books or movies? This is a really difficult question though. But here's, I think there's something we kind of glossed over here. Like Ellie and Skid, you've known each other since you were 18? No, 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 no. Skid, Skid is oh. not the one who cheated on no, me. No, no, I didn't cheat on <laughs> No. <laughs> Eric? <laughs> you were angry at our kid for liking Legolas, by the way. You never were, Eric. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. It's, a okay. kind of yeah. it's a different kind of betrayal. It's a different kind of betrayal. I was like, I he invites you into the game. Is that to like make up for the fact that I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know that's been cleared up. Um, you know, what? for me, a lot of the times the characters I like are somehow attached to the actor a lot of the yeah. time. Oh, sure. Totally I mean, fine. It just, There's no course. wrong yeah. answer. There's no wrong answers. No wrong uh, answer. Well, except the one Kate just gave. But yeah, except the one Kate. Yeah. I'm but sorry, that's, Kate. That's really understood. Sorry. I mean, that goes yeah. without saying. I'm really sorry, Kate. I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, I I I really love Andy Circus. Oh, so my, God. oh my God! Yes. Oh, oh my God! What see, a performance! Kate, see, Kate, what that's the correct answer. I'm sorry, oh. I love Andy, Andy Circus. So him, I don't care. Yeah, he could play like he could, he could literally play 
a rock in Bags End. And I'd be like, that's one of my favorite characters in the whole show because I happen to love Andy Serkis. And then secondly, I'll add another one is Thrangible because Lee Pace. It's yeah, Lee. I love oh Lee Pace God. too. I love he's Lee Pace. He's so, he's just, you know, he feels yeah. like an elf to me. He feels yeah. like totally. an elf. That's like some um, phenomenal elf casting was Lee Pace. Yes. We just started watching a Pushing Daisies uh, oh, recently, yes, which so I've nice. never seen. Like he's awesome in that. Uh, he's yeah. amazing as uh, he's Fernando Wood. Uh, yes. uh, a congressman from New York and Lincoln. He's so good in that. Uh, <laughs> he's yeah, he's actor. he's amazing. So he's Empire and follow, Foundation. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, yeah, as well. and he uh, and he plays Empire and Foundation. He's Cleon, mm-hmm. and yeah. he is incredible in that. Yeah, I think uh, you would, mm-hmm. uh, Alicia. If you haven't seen Foundation, I think you would love him. And he is amazing in that one. I think he cares. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, continue. Yeah. I'm taking that. Foundation down. is a good Get show. Down. Right? Yeah, and mm-hmm. he's great in that. So okay. that's my answer. Okay. okay. Very, very good. Very good answers there. Very good. Thank you. Um, yeah, really good. Okay. And uh, uh, I'll, uh, uh, Joe, who, what, what would your answer be? Uh, well, like Grant, I have prepared several answers. Okay. Uh, but I think what I want to do is sort of like a front door, and then I'd like to come back to me for a B-side if we can. Uh, sure. Which I think is just not a minor character necessarily, but somebody <laughs> who I don't think anybody really would ever say they like, but there's yeah. some things I really like. So my front door is Gandalf. Uh, I, it's just from the, I, so I read the Hobbit and did not read Lord of the Rings before I saw Fellowship of the Ring. So I read the Hobbit, then the years passed and then I saw those movies and it blew my mind and I was like, holy shit. You know, when I was young, I was like in my early twenties and I was like, I'm not reading that book. Look how long it is. (laughs) (laughs) I got video (laughs) games to play. (laughs) And, uh, I was like, holy shit, this is incredible. And so, and so I dove in. So obviously that that connection is important to me, mm-hmm. but also I just always have a special place for uh, the characters that represent age and experience and wisdom. And the thing that I love the best about him as a character is that he is very three dimensional and you feel the length of his existence. Like his wisdom is not like granted to him through some magic. It's, it, it comes from thousands of years of living basically countless and, years yeah studying countless. at the feet of niena of yeah. the valar like e- exactly yeah, like yeah. being immortal and learning so much about you know the 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 whatever fragility of life the transitions of life the ages come and go to and also on top of all of that he is imperfect and he's flawed and he yeah. makes mistakes and he regrets mm-hmm. things and he you know and i just think that that is such an interesting and provocative character um yeah yeah i, t- I totally agree uh and that and making mistakes and regretting things that is the one thing that flaw i guess or he, the thing that aragorn shows too at least in the books when they reach uh the ford at uh not the Fort of Brunin, the Falls of Raros, and they they split the party. Like Frodo runs off. Uh, uh, Aragorn is like, I don't know what to do. Like Gandalf didn't tell me what to do in this moment, and I feel like I fucked up. And and he he goes to this real crisis crisis of confidence, and it's in the same way. Like Gandalf has the kind of the same things. It's like it's so it's so great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I love totally it. I love great. his like his his short temper at times, and then I other times, his, yeah. and then other times, <laughs> staggeringly remarkable patience. You know, it's yeah. like, yeah, it's just very very interesting. Yeah, well, I think mm-hmm. that's what's so interesting about Gandalf that I love from the text, and like going back into the Silmarillion is Olorin and his youth in the West when he was studying under Nienna, who was the sort of avatar of uh, of pity and uh, and tears she's like the she's like the goddess of of crying basically mm-hmm. and like that's what that's who he's that's who he was his mentor for like countless eons you know before it's like that's what he learned empathy mm-hmm. like that that was his main yeah. kind of wisdom that he that he earned like it's it's really great um okay great choice joe for an a side uh what ellie uh what you let's save the best for last what was your favorite well i mean i joe said it uh, gandalf nowadays but uh growing up bilbo was my favorite oh. i had a parakeet oh, that i named of bilbo course, the Hobbit. <laughs> yes yep. definitely uh, i uh, yeah. but but i agree with alicia about like um andy circus is amazing and if i would ever like as an actor would play a role i would love to play a golem like i oh, think that's yeah. the most yeah. interesting character mm-hmm. uh but mm-hmm. uh 
But Gandalf, you know, I was obsessed with Ian McKellen as well. I wrote him fan letters as a kid. Oh, <laughs> you did? <laughs> Never got a reply, but that's okay. Very busy. He's Sir Ian. <laughs> he's uh, Sir, the Sir Ian McKellen, but uh, I guess he's busy. But, um, <laughs> Terribly busy. No. God bother yes. you. Send you letters, reply to letters from small Swedish girls. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly sorry. <laughs> He, um, but I, I was also weirdly obsessed with Arwen and Aragorn's uh, uh, rela like relationship. Um, Great relationship. Yeah, I, I, and I was like, Eowyn, if you get in mid in the middle of that, I'm gonna cut <laughs> you down. Um, right? Because I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 It was like this um, wrong. But I was yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, stay away. Yeah, I did not like her for the most of the movie until she redeemed herself. Let me tell you, I was ready to mm. really not. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. a lot of people have that reaction. I love Miranda Otto right. so much, and and yes. I, you know, yeah, and I love uh, Aowen, but uh, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, all right, good, good calls both. Uh, for me, I think, yeah, my front door choice would probably be Gandalf for the reasons I just mm. talked about. Um, but my real, like, sort of fanboy niche choice would be Glorfindel, uh, who doesn't appear uh, in any of the films, not the Baxi version. Wait, is he the wizard? No, Glorfindel is the sort of the herald of, of Elrond. He is a, uh, the, the guardian of Rivendell. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. He is a, a, a Noldor elf from the first age who like came over. He didn't participate in the, the kinslaying at uh, the Aqualande, but he did come over from the West with Feanor. And he, oh. he, uh, he was, uh, he, he fought in like the Nerneath Arnoidiad, like uh, the Battle of Countless Tears. He fought, uh, beside, uh, he, he was uh, in Gondolin. And he was killed. He was killed in Gondolin by, as he was defending the, the people, like the refugees escaping Gondolin from a Balrog. Uh, much like Gandalf, he died in combat with a Balrog. He struck it down and it fell off a tower and it grabbed him by the hair as it was falling and he was crushed uh, to death oh. when he fell. So he went over to the halls of Mandos where the spirits of elves go to uh, to await the the end, the true end, and he was allowed a second incarnation. He was allowed to come back into Middle Earth. Uh, one of only three people, I think, in the stories that was able to do that. And so we meet him in Lord of the Rings, and he res he in the books. He's the one who rescues Frodo from the Nazgul uh, at 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 the Ford. Um, and uh, yeah, he's just he's he's so cool. Uh, he's a total badass. Um, and I always laugh because at the Council of Elrond, someone suggests that maybe Glorfindel go with them. And I think it's, I, maybe Gandalf says like, well, uh, even Glorfindel with the power that is in him couldn't batter down the gates of Mordor, you know. And I'm always just like, true, but can he still come? I mean, <laughs> I think he could still do some good short of battering down the, the gates, the black gates. I think, you know, he might come in handy. Yeah, uh, Boromir can't point. either, but you sent him. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyway, that's, that's, uh, that's my good. Favorite. That's, I was thinking when I said, when I said the wizard. I was thinking of Radagast the Brown. I love Radagast mm. too. Yeah. I love Radagast. Oh, I couldn't remember funny. his name. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. It's yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, Sylvester McCoy in the Hobbit films. Uh, yeah. A little bit broader take uh, than I might have picked from uh, my adaptations. <laughs> but very good. Uh, <laughs> he's so cool in the books because like, no one, you don't really like, he comes kind of comes in and out. He likes birds and it's just like, yeah, it's awesome. Um, yeah, I met Andy Circus too, by the way. He's super nice. Oh, uh, awesome. Oh, my Yeah, he God. signed my, uh, I've got it back there, my big uh, Two Towers Gollum poster. He signed it. It was fucking awesome. <gasps> Amazing. Um, How yeah. tall is he? How tall is he? Uh, he was sitting <laughs> down, so I'm not sure. It was it was funny because, like, I went, he was doing a signing thing at Toys R Us in Times Square, and I got there super early, and I was, like, 15th in line. But uh, when they loaded us Surrounded all. Surrounded by children. Yeah, so I was, I was in a group of like NYU students, and so it was like they they herded us into the elevator, and I was the last person on the elevator. But that meant I was the first off, so I was the first person he met that day. Wow! So, so he was fresh. 
Yeah. So I came up and he was just like, hey, how's it going? Like, blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, hey, I just want to thank you for your portrayal of of Gollum. Like, I know uh, being that much sort of giving that much honesty in your performance of somebody that that damaged uh, mm-hmm. and finding mm-hmm. what makes them like human for lack of a better term is <laughs> really admirable. And I like as an actor myself, like I really want to thank you for that. It's just like, oh, thank you very much. And I turned, I happen to be wearing my uh, my New York Rangers hockey jersey that says Aragorn on the back of it that my sister oh. got me for my oh. birthday. So I turned around, he saw the Aragorn on the back and he cracked up and Anyway, the story. <laughs> like, awesome. you're, you're a real one. He's a real yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so, awesome. Thank you so cool. all. Uh, this is great. Okay, so when we left you all last time, you had oh, just... Oh, sorry, re- Skid. Let me interrupt oh, with... Um, yes. with uh, oh, the giveaway. We're, yes. we're giving stuff away, man. Yeah. Don't Let's not forget, before we get into this uh, great game, we're going to give the game away uh, tonight, courtesy of Free League. So thanks again to Free League. We're going to give away a hard copy of the Core Rules uh, to a winner in chat tonight that will ship quarter one of next year. As Eleanor said, she's a backer and she still hasn't gotten it yet. I'm a backer. I haven't gotten it yet. We're supposed to get it pretty mm-hmm. soon, right, Ellie? It's it's pretty soon. Uh, yeah, it, it's yeah. It's supposed I mean, to be the, within the, the next the sh- month, I the think. Ship, the ship is on its way. So yeah, it's- there's been a lot of shipping delays, but they're great about updating us. Anyway, quarter one next year, you'll get that hardcover. Along with that, we'll give you a whole di- digital package of the core rule book and the starter set while you wait. Also, we're going to give three copies of all that digital goodness to three other people as well. So four winners uh, in the chat tonight. Go into the chat and click the link to go to the giveaway. Uh, Brendan, you can drop that now and uh, yeah, sign up and we'll announce the winner in chat before the end of the episode. Nice. Okay. Uh, great. Good luck to everybody out there. And I didn't so, get to, sorry, and I didn't get to do my B-side. And my B-side, oh, yes. it's very interesting that you say <laughs> the Glorfindel thing, because my B-side is totally film-related and completely not what's in the books, because my B-side is Arwen. And the reason, specifically, is her portrayal in Fellowship of the Ring and then Two Towers. And the way that, uh, because when I first saw it, she's like the first elf that you see. In the, in the mm-hmm. film. I mean, you see the elves in the woods, but that doesn't count. Like, she's the first one that, that's like... That's only in the extended version. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That is only yeah. in the extended version. So, yeah, she's the first elf you see in the film, and she is so... Like, Frodo is so blown away by the sight of her. She almost looks mm-hmm. like a magical being. Yeah. And I was just like... <gasps> And I, I, it was one of the first moments that I was truly transported back to being a kid and playing D and D for the first time. Like I really started to understand, you know, what elves were like that. And uh, and then the other moment was, you know, one of the ones you said, Ellie, about the, you know, the ga- the Fellowship of the Ring and all that stuff. I was like, <gasps> it was like being a kid again. It was great. Um, but yeah, her going against the uh, the Nas, the Ring Wraiths. I yeah. mean, that was such a badass <laughs> moment. Uh, if you yeah. want him, come and come claim, and claim him. him. Like she yes. just crushes so the role, and that's yeah. and that's Glorfindel, right? Yeah. This right. is what yes. breaks my heart, right? And this is what I'm saying film. is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, yeah, it's it's still a badass portrayal. And then in Two Towers, it's such a like you said, Ellie. It's such a sad story. And when mm-hmm. Elrond goes deep into explaining to her why this is going to be so tragic. You know, and then she's just like, F it. I'm doing it anyway. Like, it's just yeah. so yeah. good. I, I love it. Yeah. As much as Brett McKenzie tried to stop her, but she, it's she still did it. It's funny with, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny with Liv Ta- Tyler in that, Liv Tyler? T- Liv Tyler, right? Not Taylor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tyler, yeah. I always miss yeah. those. Um, uh, my brother always, <laughs> he was like, it looks like she always comes out of a shower when she enters the scene. <laughs> and like... <laughs> She looks freshly showered. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> You're right. It's she does have on. like that moist, like uh, just put on lotion on her. Uh, you know, it looks very interesting. Yep. Uh, Doing it soggy style over there in <laughs> Rivendell. <laughs> that was a Call pre-banter. Pre, yeah. pre, pre-show banter. Let's not go there. <laughs> we, won't, we won't talk about it in, in any depth. <laughs> we'll leave that off air. Thank you very much. But yeah, that is like the cool, like, it is a great scene in the book, but in the book, it's just like Glorfindel's there and he like, he like faces down the, the Nazgul and like Frodo can see him like, because he like holds, he holds the ring and he sees like Glorfindel like sort of uh, unleashes and reveals all the power that's in him. And he's like mm-hmm. glowing like a beacon of, of holy white light on the other side of the river, like holding his sword aloft and, you know, 
the Nazgul just like quail in fear. Just look at this 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 hero from the first stage. It's like it's so badass. Anyway, ah, oh. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to get make myself any sadder. <laughs> so, <laughs> so last time when we left off, you guys uh, as a group had headed off uh, into the North Farthing into the Moors. Uh, you you track down a runaway hobbit uh, with the help of her father, and you were able to recover this like one of the great relics of Hobbit history, the club of Brandebris. Brandeboris. Yeah, yes, yes, Brandeboris, <laughs> uh, the bull roarer himself. You're able to recover his 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 club, and when you return to Bag End, you see a figure peeping in the windows of Bilbo's house and as you get closer the they throw back their their hood and they reveal themselves to be Bali and son of Fundin. What do you think happens in that moment? So we walked up and we were seeing basically we were walking toward my house and we see someone looking in the mirror, I mean in my, in my window and um, Bilbo says excuse me, excuse me can I help you with something? Hello? Bilbo, don't you recognize your old friend? It is I. Uh, not with that hat on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm trying out something new. Red. What do you think about this? <laughs> and uh, Balin, he 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 doesn't care that Bilbo doesn't seem to recognize him and and uh, embraces Bilbo in a bear hug. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see you. What, what are you doing here? I want you to meet my friends. We've been out we're adventuring. Oh, adventuring. Well, I knew that it would not. You couldn't get it out of your system, now, could you, Bilbo? Uh, of <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Of course not. No. My, my test is, uh, I'm sort of surprised to see you standing here uh, looking in my window. What What no, are you I, here for? Not that I don't mind. I'm happy you're here, but I, what well, are you doing here? I mean, well, you did say that whenever I wanted tea, I should come by. And uh, here I am again, <laughs> because I sure like your tea. Ooh, and <laughs> do you perhaps have any cheese or any wine and he just straight up goes to the to the uh, the food goes closet inside, or whatever the food closet the food closet he's like he starts <laughs> gathering food and he's just hello everyone nice to meet you as he just passes for the, the rest of them by uh, <laughs> and then he starts making food for himself just like so tell me about your adventure I'm very curious to hear and he has that uh, the, the air of someone who's just like, tell me, you know, little ones about your adventure, like yeah. as if, you know, he's so experienced. That's cute. This. Yeah, that's, yeah, cute. that's, that's cute. probably <laughs> as adorable to Bali. Yeah. Well, to Bilbo, I mean, but Bilbo, like, he obviously respects. Yeah. But like these right, people, right, right. it's just, yeah, this is, this is yeah. training What does he look like? Them, um, Describe he, him what he look like. I would say he looks like... Um, uh, how I had envisioned him is more like the animated series where he actually has a red, like red hood, more like, and a beard, uh, a white the long Rankin beard. The Rankin Bass, the seventy-seven. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like um, I saw like the picture because that's the first picture I saw of him as a kid. Uh, Balin, yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah. Uh, so he has like a. I think a, they, they a call red... him Balin. I think also in that version. Oh, Balin. Yeah. Bal yeah. I I said uh... I said. Balin, as in sweet in Sweden, but it doesn't right. matter now. But no, no, that's um, right though. That's that's right. Yeah, I always call him Balin when I in my Ooh. head when I read it in the book. Ooh, yeah, Balin. Yeah, Balin. Balin. yeah, but um, and so you know, red a red like sort of hood, uh, long long white beard. He is he's very he's old. He's 197 years old uh, for a dwarf. That's Ooh. still like it's sort of like 60s, yeah. perhaps in human years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and uh, and he's short. He's almost Bilbo's height. Uh, I I want to imagine. So yeah. like he's not he's a short dwarf. He's not like a <laughs> big big uh, uh, uh -huh. like uh, imposing man. Mm. And um, but you could you could, I mean he's he's um, he has the uh, ruggedness of a of a warrior still. So it's not like mm -hmm. you know it, it's not like he looks like someone you could easily be in a I don't know a fight with and win <laughs> I would say like right. probably lose <laughs> not to put uh, too fine a point on it but yes yeah. <laughs> um, so don't fight him yeah don't yeah. fight him <laughs> don't fight him he has don't like don't look uh, at him and assume gonna, you could win just gonna write that yeah. 
Thank you. Uh, m- m- Mr. Bilbo, well, you who's your good. friend? Who's your friend? Yes, uh, these are all my friends, and this is Lobelia, Mistress Lobelia. Pleasure. Introduce yourself to my old friend. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> wow, ice cold. What are you doing? <laughs> to talk to my friend here. Yeah, she won't bite. He won't bite. Sorry. The hair threw me off. <laughs> I, Labelia. Is that what you said? Labelia? Labelia. Labelia. Ah. What a, what a, you, you look like a summer day. I know. Do you? Do you? That's what she <laughs> okay. If it's raining, maybe. <laughs> Did you just shower? <laughs> I'm always <laughs> freshly showered. <laughs> you remind and me of someone end. I once met. Yeah, exactly. Freshly conditioned. I see. <laughs> I see you look freshly conditioned. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm always interested to meet. If you like. Oh, well, I'm always interested to meet any friend of Mr. Bilbo. My name's Paladin Took. Uh, what's your name, sir? A Took. Ah, my name is Balin, son of Fundin. And, uh, yeah, I've been traveling with Bilbo many, many times, a long time ago. I think oh. it must have been, what has it been? 10 years? 15 years? Uh, since? I, I, uh, think I think it's been... 30 years. Oh, 30 years? Yeah. You know, did you guys wild. hear that? Where did that come from? Did you hear that? Someone said 30 years, but I don't see them anywhere. <laughs> it's it's I, Gandalf. <laughs> oh, Gandalf. Gandalf means me. But it's, it's strange, Bilbo, you haven't aged a day. It's, it's funny how you... How that works, because I feel like I'm just getting wider and wider. <laughs> you know, I um, make sure to eat a lot of uh, the good food here, here at Bag End, you know, lots of fruits and vegetables. And uh, and right then, you, you know, well, you don't see it, but Bilbo sticks his hand in his pocket and he's like fingering something, but oh. you don't see it. He's like, it's oh. just been taking care of myself, you know, that's all. You don't look so bad yourself. Don't put yourself down at all. Thanks. Where's the tea? Is it, well, oh, come, tea, tea, will it have tea uh, and biscuits? I'm bringing the tea oh. right now. I'm Rory McBrandybuck, soon to be Master of Buckland, but tonight I'm more than happy to be serving you, Balin. Did you know that I spoke with an owl earlier? And I'm doing all of these crazy things with Master Baggins because my sister wants to marry me, and I very much don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister? Yes, my ah, sister Primula. Hobbits. Primula. She's a, she's a beautiful <laughs> young woman. She is always freshly showered, but um, I'm hiding <laughs> out from her right now, you see. <laughs> See, your sister wants to marry you. You hobbitses have very interesting uh, uh, family relations. Well, that's why we drink Aye, as much as we do. Very interesting <laughs> traditions we have. Yes. Uh, I, that's what I always loved you. You're very liberal when it comes to um, <laughs> shittings. The heart wants what it wants in, in the shower. Indeed. <laughs> um, Is that so why you, you're so short? Is that why your offspring's are so short? <laughs> so, yeah. So, Paladin, you certainly would have heard stories about Balin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, when, once... Uh, uh, Balin mentions that they, you know, he's been on many adventures or whatever with with Bilbo. What's it been thirty years? You know what I mean? He's just like, are you one of the one of the first dwarves that came and took him away? And he's just exactly. like, um, like wide eyed. Uh, so my character is one of the youngest in, in the group. Ah, okay. at, right. He's yeah, twenty seven, okay. and so oh. he's just like very young. I believe he's almost. I think Peregrine is twenty eight. At the start of Lord of the Rings, yeah, that's, and this is his twenty-seven father. or twenty-eight, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like oh, he's he's as, as immature, pretty much as Peregrine is in, in Lord of the Rings, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's just yeah, a kid, uh, so he would be amazed to to meet you. Um, and on the question he uh, of like, were you one of the dwarves? He Balin says, in fact, I was the second dwarf to knock on this door, and he looks at the the round door of Bilbo. In fact, it was my brother Dwalin who came first. And then, mm-hmm. and then, and the rest is, of course, history. And he he puts a hand on on Bilbo. Mm. Uh, <sighs> could you find me some more of that chocolate you carry? Like he does. That's one of those things that my mom always does. Of like, uh, she touches me in a loving way, and then it's like, could you go and do this 
Menial <laughs> task. Exactly. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> we could do a chore. Yeah. Uh, it okay. is so good love, to yeah. see you, Eleanor. Yeah. The laundry needs to be folded. <laughs> <laughs> could you be a sweetheart? Thanks. Um, Actually, yeah. that's a good. That's true. That's something that just occurred to me too. This is something that I mentioned. I think on the first episode of A and A was Eleanor, spelled differently, pronounced differently, was the first name, the, the name of Sam's first daughter after he gets back from the war. Yes, I remember Eleanor, reading yeah. that, it's Eleanor, and I was like, I'm in the book! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it's yeah. really, really cool. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it was actually about 19, 20 years ago that the events right. at the Lonely Mountain happened, but, uh, but yeah, so... Um, so, yeah, so you guys, like, uh, actually end up hanging out um, at at Bag End uh, for a few weeks, uh, just uh, just enjoying the sort of uh, afterglow of, the, of your victories. Um, mm. And one evening, um, you're all settled down for dinner uh, or supper uh, out on the front porch of Bag End, just uh, with the outdoor tables and everything, smoking your pipe weed and swapping stories. Mm. And you see off on the horizon, way off to the southeast, you see this dazzling display of colors and lights uh, th- with tendrils of smoke curling up in the darkening sky, uh, shapes and f- the, these explosions of sparks flowering off in the distance. <gasps> and Bilbo, you immediately recognize that these must be Gandalf's old fireworks. <sighs> And Did you all see those fireworks? <gasps> I, yeah. is, is Gandalf is Gandalf here? Could it? Could it? Could it? Could it? Could it? it can um, be. Could it? And you haven't, yeah, you haven't seen Gandalf uh, since since you parted ways as you came back to the Shire. Um, yeah. But yeah, those those are clearly Gandalf's fireworks. And Bilbo, you know that he entrusted the remainder of his fireworks to none other than Primrose Boffin, now Bracegirdle, Lobelia's mother. Uh-oh. Um, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so Bilbo looks over at Lobelia. Do I, so Lobelia knows that I know this, or? Yeah, this would probably be pretty it's common me. knowledge. Well, not maybe, maybe okay. not common knowledge, but like you guys would definitely know this. Like you both nah. know this. Okay, so Bilbo would look over at Lobelia quizzically and say, do you have any idea what's going on with your family right now? Or is this something else you want? To- I mean, there are fireworks. We can light them if we want. What <laughs> <laughs> is going on with the brace girl? <laughs> oh, I like so, this girl. <laughs> Bilbo would like to lean over to Balin and say, watch your bits around that one. Oh, I, I certainly will. How, 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 uh, young is she? how young is she? She's 42. And how, how, and how, how young is that in Hobbit's world? Like, is that, it's like she's uh, an adult. Uh, that's yeah. Like, yeah, that's like late 20s, early 30s. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I, uh, she's okay, in her prime. Well, all right, <laughs> perfect. And uh, then I'll keep looking at her, I guess. Okay. So <laughs> too uh, young, you'd be like, <laughs> yeah, I was going to be like, if she's a teen, then I'm just going to be like, oh, fiery girl, but then move on. <laughs> uh, so you all also know, all of you, but probably Balin would know that the brace girdles are mostly all in hard bottle uh, in the East Farthing. Mm. But mm. there's some, there's some scandal lately because Primrose uh, went back to live in the Yale down to the south where she was born, setting off all kinds of gossip. And it looks like those lights are coming from the south, like somewhere somewhere in the Yale. Um, it looks like someone must have tried to put those fireworks to use again and may have set a fire going along with them. Uh. And Bilbo, you know that fireworks can be incredibly dangerous. Yes. And you think that you all should go and retrieve yes. these things and make sure that they're safe. Rory comes out like, of the kitchen terrified with a pot in his he- on his head and like a ladle in one of his hands ready to fight because he's never heard such an explosion before. Just shaking. 
<laughs> it's it's alright, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> what's, what's, what's the matter? Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it a dragon? Oh, so, might be a dragon. No, okay. <laughs> you would know a dragon, boy. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm just playing with him. He knows I'm playing. But this party is over because we're going to have to go and retrieve those fireworks before somebody takes their head off. Oh, We have to go. Put your stuff away. Tea away. I'll get your chocolate later. Put your shoes. Actually, your shoe. Leave it off. And let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. Gray skirt with your single shoe. Shoes. <laughs> your shoe stealing proclivities. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the adventure kind of assumes that that kind of skips the travel and like you sort of start in the Yale, but what we'll do, we will do the journey there. We'll do one roll uh, for okay. the journey. Cool. Um, so one of you roll a feet die to see what, if anything, happens on your journey uh, towards Skid, the Yale. Skid, are these described in the book as scenes? Is it like this scene this scene because I was reading the rules and it says like you do scenes and blah 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 which like I've seen in the in like the 2d20 system but like not yeah. in this system it's and a I, similar kind of theory in this and like Star Trek or Dune yeah, yeah. there's like the separating uh, the breaking the game session down into scenes like this yeah um, mm-hmm. so yeah this I mean is I'm the, glad we're rolling and I want to do it but that's why I could kind of see it being like okay and then it fades and then it fades up and you're down there you know what I mean it's, it's yeah, another yeah. scene you don't have to play out every minute but yeah yeah um, but yeah let's just do one roll it's probably it's it's probably about a three day journey but we'll, yeah we'll just do we'll do one roll uh, okay who's doing Ellie right Come on. Ellie, Ellie this is the, yeah, the newest okay, guest. Let's have Ellie roll. Roll a 12 all sided right. die, please, Ellie. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, um, all right. Um, four. Four. Okay. Um, it's not 11, you, or which is, I mean, which is the one is the Sauron's eye? Uh, 11. 11 is the Sauron's yeah. eye. Um, yeah. 12 is the G Kirth uh, for Gandalf, mm-hmm. and that is the best one. Yeah. Um, okay, four. So. Um, as you're traveling the East Road, uh, and we can sh- go back to roll 20 here to take a look at that. Uh, you can see the map there. Um, so as, yeah, you're traveling along the East Road, um, as you pass by water, uh, you, actually maybe this is only like, like a, maybe like a day, a day and a half. Um, so as you approach Frogmorton, you you know that the East Road is uh, much of the Hobbit's consternation, often frequented by dwarves um, who are making their way to the Blue Mountains to the west, back and forth now from Erebor, now that there's a, a brisk trade between the two dwarven settlements. So you, uh, on the road, uh, one mid-morning, um, you see two dwarven brewers from the Blue Mountains uh, clearly, and they have a couple of ponies or donkeys uh, burdened down with beer barrels, uh, bought at the Golden Perch, and mm. they're they're coming towards you, and it's just like they're swaying a little bit. They've clearly like had some of their own their own brew. <laughs> you look like you're getting ready to say something, Tuck. <laughs> he was like. No, I just, I forgot my walking stick. And I just, uh, I expected Balin would do the talking. It's dwarves after all, so. Right. Uh, Smooth them over. Get us some hail. Get us some (laughs) hail. Now calm down there, young one. Uh, Balin walks up into the front and uh, as if he's suddenly the leader of the team, which he feels a little uncomfortable Mm. with. He's like, I would have liked to get to know you better before I start making inappropriate jokes that I tend to like <laughs> so much. I don't want right. to come into a group of people who are already established and had a good time for two sessions and then <laughs> make inappropriate jokes. And say dumb stuff don't about worry. Sweden. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and he walks up to, um, to the front and says, Hello, good day. Hi, good day, Ellie. brothers. Uh, right, you got, you got the uh, bearing of a dwarf from the lonely mountain from Erebor, eh? Mm. <laughs> and who are you? Uh, I'm Gary, and this is Steve, and uh, <laughs> we're from the uh, Blue Mountain. <laughs> we're from the Blue Mountain Brewers, and Blue Mountain uh, Brewers. and he like gestures to you, like coming close. Yes, you coming close. 
I do come in close. This is we've managed to get our hands on some of the best beer in the Shire, and you can smell his breath. It's like kerosene. You know, <laughs> don't light a lamp like near this guy. Um, and he's just like, but sh- don't tell the little ones. They don't know what they've got. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. Uh, Would you like you to know. try some? We, you look a little bit parts from the road there, brother. Ah, uh, you know what? I think we shall be fine, but let me ask the rest of the group and I uh, shall see. And he looks at the group uh, and he sees that Took, uh, what was it? What was his name? Paladin Took? Paladin. Uh, Paladin Took. What did they say? Do, do they have any extra? Could they share it a little bit? Uh, share a pint. Share we don't have time pint. to drink. I'd love to give it a taste. I mean, aren't we adventurers now? We should adventure our taste buds as well. Billy is right. It's a beautiful day for day drinking. Come on. Uh, Balin looks at Bill and is just like, if these, if th- this is it, if they take a sip of this, they will be. I don't know if they will survive in the morning. To the morning. <laughs> this. Uh, oh, it's we, the- we shall see. Is it, is it oh, it's, uh, it's fine. No, this is uh, this is like uh, we found it. Uh, it fell off a uh, a cart. I don't know <laughs> where it came from. Have you ever heard about moonshine being made in a bathtub? I would I, more like compare letters. to that. Moon moon letters. No, I've heard of moon letters. Before. Only visible one night of the year. Um. So I don't know. Um, I don't want to make an, uh, a, a decision for the team. If you guys really want to have, they start then, pouring uh, out like right. giant mugs and well, like then, yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, Paladin's gonna just walk right by and be like, yeah. "I'll do a, a flight." Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> he'll take. Wait a, a minute. <laughs> Lobelia goes up and goes. I'll just take a sip. Did you say Gary and Steve? It's Gary Those are some Steve. wild names. <laughs> well, it's like you know, our dwarvish names will not be pronounceable to you. Uh, you know, no offense, but uh, so yeah, we go by Gary and Steve, and we're uh, on the uh, East Road here. We're dealing with the little folk. Bilbo, Balin, don't worry. Yes. I'll be the very model of temperance. I'm just going to have a little more wine. And he finishes off a snake skin or a a wine skin. (laughs) I I don't have any of the beer. I want to have. Going I to wanna, get- I, I, I'm imagining Balin looking at this, being like, "Oh dear God!" and then like uh, ten minutes later, being like the star of the party, <laughs> super wasted as well. Yes. Yeah, like uh, Paladin is on Balin's shoulders. Yeah. And they're like, fighting yeah. Bilbo yeah. and uh, and Rory on, on his shoulders like oh god amazing. They're lifting up each other f- to a beer keg of like 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 upside down it's just like chug chug chug. Uh, yeah, so they're encouraging you to do this. They're like pulling off to the side of the road and just this, yeah. It's like yeah, we can stop for a bit. Come on, Larry, here, have some of this. It's like it's incredible. So yeah, if you guys want to partake, that uh they're they're encouraging it. Um oh yeah. I think, yeah. I think that's we, what we the majority it. wanted. Let, let's let's party. Okay. Yep. Um, okay, so to you adventure. guys... To adventure. Yeah, to adventure. Yeah. To adventure. <laughs> and so, yeah, and so you guys, like, start... They right, break out. Right. So, this, so this is what it's like, right, Balin and Bilbo? You, for, you get out there and you get a pint of ale and hit the road. Right. That's right. That's right. Oh. Hit the road. <laughs> that's a good name for the ale. We'll call it Hit the Road, Deb. Uh... uh uh, halfling, hit the road, halfling. It's like hey, hit the road, half- that's great. <laughs> I'll fill my mug with a pint of hit the road, halfling. <laughs> right. uh, wait a minute. Uh, Your name was Daddy, right? Daddy was Dad- you? No. Who? Wait, Daddy. Steve. No. Okay, yes. Not here. Daddy. Not here, love. <laughs> wow. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Gary and uh, Steve. Yeah, you know, you're I've got to pick better names. Like they can't even get these right. <laughs> Got to pick better, like, small folk names. I don't even know what they call themselves. Anyway, sorry, what were you saying? Where did you get this before? Where did you get this drink? Hey, Where did oh, you get it this? fell off a cart. Right. All right, so everyone Uh-oh. who is partaking, everybody give me a... Uh, give me a travel roll. Give me a travel roll. Okay. Oh, I like it. Mm. Do I need I to like if I am it. just okay. partaking right. in the wine? 
Or can I just uh, get obliviated that way? No, Rory. Yeah, if you're just drinking the wine, I think you're okay. okay. But everyone else okay. who's like sampling the beer, give me a give me a travel roll. <laughs> Labelia is going to try to show off, pretends like she knows something, so she's going to use a hope point because I don't have any ticks in travel. Okay. Oh. Okay. I do, okay. but okay. Let me see. Nope. I rolled a. Okay. I rolled a. <laughs> Aileen rolled a 12 on my feet die, and then I have a lot of travel. It's my favored a skill as well. Whoa. So Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, but yeah, so I pass with... Okay. Yeah, Baleen, had, yeah. Yeah. The Bilia swirls <laughs> in her glass. She's like, it smells like raspberries. She got a five. Okay. <laughs> 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 Uh, um, I, no. I, I took Kate's lead and I also spent uh, a hope point uh, just okay. because like I like the idea of a took that can hold his liquor you know yeah, and, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, and I absolutely crushed it as crushed as you can without oh. Gandalf because I uh, I don't have a pip <laughs> that's why I spent it oh okay and I got a 10 and a 6 <laughs> Oh wow! Amazing. Okay, so Amazing. yeah, literally as as well as you can do without a Gandalf room. Yeah, so you, yeah, you're so you're I have kid. a kid. I have a yeah, exactly. You're so like a I, college kid. It's just like this is this is <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like you're you're built for this. So I have a six to pass on. I don't know if that if that matters. No, no, case. you can't. We we remember we learned or I learned that you can't really do that. That's oh, only it just for you. Counts as, like, as another it success counts when another you success need multiple, multiple successes. successes. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, so Paladin, like, you have a great time. They break a little drum. You're, like, doing a little dance for them and everything. Uh, everybody has an amazing time. Um, and you all uh, pass out in the road. Uh, <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. Wow. And when you come to uh, the following morning, uh, the dwarves have gone. Um, there's oh. a little note saying, uh, thank you for a lovely evening, M- Gary and Steve. Um, and uh, those of you who did not pass your travel checks, you will be weary today. Oh no! Uh, I'm weary today. Knew it. Uh, okay. Um, so you get uh, the rest of the way to the Yale. Um, so let's see. Okay, so um, luckily you have Lobelia with you, so she knows exactly. Uh, where the the Bracer or the uh, um, Boffin family estate is. Uh, so if you'll refer to the map here, uh, you guys uh, make your way down. You're in the Yale here, and you get to Whitfurrows, and you don't even have to talk to anybody if you don't want to. You can just like make a make a right turn and head down mm-hmm. uh, like a half mile or so to the estate. Lobelia's l- voice mm-hmm. is like an octave lower, and she's like, "I really don't want to talk to anyone right now. I will just I'll lead you." <laughs> so she's got her hands over her eyes, like shading out the sun. She's like, "I'll lead you to exactly where we need to go. I just don't. don't please don't let anyone know that I'm here. I don't want to talk to anyone." <laughs> Okay, so you draw some, you definitely draw some stairs for, in Whitfarl from these hobbits, like traveling with this group, <laughs> traveling with a dwarf, and they all know you for sure, Lobelia. So, yeah, that's just like everyone just kind of stops what they're doing, like watch you. There's just like, you can hear like the whispers, the gossip, like going on. Um, but you, you go, you travel south, and um, you see uh, the large farmstead of the, ba- the Boffin family estate. Uh, it looks like it's been recently recently renovated. Uh, there's a big stately house surrounded by farm buildings and there are wheat and barley fields and orchards kind of stretching all around. And you see that there are scorch marks, massive scorch marks in a couple of the fields and a big one, a larger one closer to the house. Um, and uh, yeah, there's the familiar rutted lane heading up to the front door. What do you do? Mm. Well, this is your sort of family land, Lobelia. Do you want to take the lead in this, or do you want... I was trying to remember what weary meant. So weary means that whenever you roll success dice, in addition to your feet die for a check, any any result from one to three counts as a zero. Including two. Including two, (laughs) yes. That... (laughs) We clarified right. that. Even two. Over zero. <laughs> um, <laughs> Even two. I guess. 
You I guess like she'll. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like she'll. Yeah, she'll walk up to the front door, getting ready to knock. But like as she's walking up, like looking at the lawn, taking note of imagining what happened here. Yeah, it looks like there was quite a fire. Uh, Dang. For oh, sure. Geez. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, like it didn't hurt like any of the buildings or anything, but it looked like there was some effort made to put it out before any more damage was done. Oh man! All right, knock on the door. Okay, and the door flies open, and you see your mother, Primrose. Mother, hello. Hey, what do you want? Um, what was going on the other day? We saw tons of fireworks. Looks like there was a big fire here. Ah. Bruno came by. Bruno? He was fooling around with those blasted fireworks. He set off a few to entertain uh, local rug rats. And I put a stop to it, though. I put a stop to all that nonsense. And I told him, go back up to Hardbottle and store the blasted things in my husband's house. Your father. You might know him better as. <laughs> you just gave him our fireworks to light in your yard? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't give them to him, you blockheaded brace girdle. <laughs> he had them himself he started setting them off that's why I set him up north let that fool of a husband of mine take care of it do I know who that guy is your, your father dad? not my dad? husband not oh, my no, husband Bruno. No, not my no 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 you're not married, <laughs> not my dad. You're not married why are you yet? trying to marry you're, everyone you're trying to marry <laughs> your dad now <laughs> you're really oh, elevated okay, this is interesting this may be this may be an eligible bachelor for you because Bruno is your brother <laughs> Do I hear Jackpot. wedding bells? Oh god, I thought okay. I looked up behind so, you. Yeah. Bruno is your brother. Just, just the Shire is just ravaged with incest. Like, every, every family. We're really going to sully the reputation of the Shire with this show. This explains, this explains Smeagol so much. Uh, yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> Oh, Bruno, it looks like my brother Bruno did all of this and the fireworks are at my father's house. Where is that? Where is your father's house? It's back in town, right? Up north? Uh, no, it's we up came in Hardbottle. Hardbottle. Oh, yeah. Hardbottle. Hardbottle means oh. you would have to go back to the East Road and keep going uh, oh. a few miles up north. Yeah, um, so again, they're at my father's house, so... They're probably Miss, fine where they are. Miss Lamelia. Um, I don't think so. Oh, why? We're going to have to go get what's left because you know he's going to do it again. I don't know your brother, but I know you. I love you, though. I think you're amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I never. I'm out of tension. <laughs> I, 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 so like Paladin is saying this and, then, and Paladin's right next to me he's like hey they go on like this every, every day it's yeah this scary. must have been a really tense few weeks because these are like two I people try, I try when I can to just force a joke in just to lighten the mood now and then but it's <laughs> it's tough they just they're at each other's throat all the time while you're whispering you'll be like well if you insist if you must Go to my father's house, <laughs> check that everything is okay. I guess we can do that. Would that make you happy, Bilbo? Well, it, it, it actually would make me quite happy. I mean, your brother has all the rest of the fireworks. Do you want this to happen again? Of course not. But I'm sure it'll be well, fine. Just, but you oh. know what? Fine. We're, we're here to make you happy, Bilbo. We will go. Make sure everything's fine. Do we need to it do? would make me quite happy. It would make those those fireworks are very important and they belong to a very important person and they were trusted me? to your mother. My what? family. Oh, that's right. No, they they belong to us. Possession yes. is nine tenths of the law, you know. If you want those, you want those fireworks back, you're gonna have to buy them. Good and proper from from, 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 my, from me, from us. From the buffets. What do you want from? A what fair do you want? I mean, we'll take the town. We'll we'll take Bag End. <gasps> oh, for the fireworks? There you go. That's good negotiating. You just said don't how you? valuable they were to you. <laughs> Paladin slowly draws out his wood axe. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think there's gonna be a fight. <laughs> I, uh, I agree with that assessment. Roll uh, initiative. The, the Balin, yeah, when she was Balin like, walks, we're fucking taking yeah. baguette. Um, <laughs> Balin walks over to Bilbo, seeing this like tension that he hasn't seen from his friend before, like uh, like this fighting. So he just walks over to Bilbo. He's like, um, Bilbo, can I can I talk to you for for a hot second? Yeah, a please. hot sec. Classic hot dwarvish hot. phrase. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot in the forges in the mines of Moria, Joe. <laughs> it always take a hot, hot second. Many hot seconds in a my life sec. in the lonely mountain <laughs> the forges. <laughs> <laughs> Hot seconds, minutes, hours. <laughs> minutes, Ooh, hours. Minutes. That was really a hot hour. <laughs> just, uh, just need to talk to you for a second. Sweating over the forge in the heat. Um, and he, he motions for Bill to come over. He's like, uh, let me tell you something about women. All right? <gasps> they what? are like the sun. They have flaws, but they're <laughs> burning <laughs> with fire. <laughs> What you know are you what? talking about right now? You know what, when I think about it, I have never been with a woman in my 127, two years. I have, uh, I, I, frankly, if you keep up that, you will end up like me, alone, alone, and in a lonely mountain. Uh, apparently Balin is an incel, and so... <laughs> I imagine him just like being like women are like and just looking around and seeing the sun and being like the sun uh, they're like the sun and the tree you know, uh, women whenever, are like uh, whenever anybody asks me what the sun is like <laughs> the same thing for me the first thing that comes to my mind is flawed yep I'm like <laughs> flawed. The flawed. The flawed. That, that's, that's the word that I would first use to describe in fact it's it's one sun. day it's got, they're gonna explode it's gonna explode and devour everything in its way that's that's women. Oh, that's women for you. So don't trust them is what I'm trying to tell you. Balin understands quantum mechanics? Uh, I was just going to say, Balin's understanding of quantum cosmic mechanics. Is I've amazing. been here. I am very oh, smart. God. I'm just picturing, right? Like, like, <laughs> Tuck taking out an axe and Balin saying, come here, let me talk to you. Women are like the sun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. let's let's <laughs> calm oh, the air like let's solve this no well, but, well, well look but, i think i think we'll all agreed right we want to go get the fireworks it's going to be the best decision so let's go do it now and get it over with find them before anybody else gets hurt right yes exactly that's what right? we set out to do that's what i said uh, that's what i meant L- lobelia <laughs> while you guys are all doing this she's like with her mom and they're like whispering in the corner like trying to figure out the best deal they'll make you and she turns around and she goes oh yes yes fine everything's fine here but we'll make sure everything's fine up there too if we must get whatever you can hold them over the barrel I will mother you'll see I'm not a stone head or whatever you called me before right blockhead 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 get it right oh you know what, Mom? You're like the sun. <laughs> you're you're worse than the sun. <laughs> you're, flawed. you're flawed. And you're going to kill us all. <laughs> but you're going to explode and like consume like the hydro- whole hydro- system hydro- of our you're made family. Of hydrogen, you know. you, you're made what? of hydrogen. You're going to ex- yeah. consume the fire or the shire and fire. Listen, can, we, can we title fusion. this? Can we title this Adam's- episode Inevitable Heat Death of the Universe, please? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Bilbo, you know, like the most urgent thing now is to get these fireworks back, and then it's just like figure out like whatever she wants a price to be. If like there's a price to pay for them, whatever. Right. Like the important thing is to track them down at the moment, and then you can figure that stuff out later. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll deal with Sounds that good. later. Then if, and first we have to go get the fireworks. We'll deal with what she wants for them later. Right. Right. But thank Good. you, Balin, for that discussion. I, I did not I did not realize that what women were like. I appreciate that. What are we like? No. You're awful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The <laughs> Billy is charming in her own way. I swear. Right. She is. Right. And so right. are you. Bori. Put took. I don't See, need people to I, flatter me. Look, I, I, Liberia, I think you're quite, you're quite incredible. And I, I was real. I had no idea. I never knew. No one ever told me. 
you could juggle that many glasses. Last night, what was it? Eight? Eight I'm, glasses at once? What did I do once? last night? <laughs> you juggled eight glasses at once while you're standing on Steve's shoulders. It was incredible. <gasps> she just kind of like looks at you like, oh. Hmm. You have no memory of this. <laughs> I never had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so as you're leaving, Primrose mm-hmm. is like, Remember, Baggins, fireworks aren't free! And she slams the door. Your mother is so charming, we must come back again. <laughs> yeah, she's Amazing. a definite, she's, she's a definite bop. Uh, All right. Okay, so, yeah, so you guys head up um, back to, uh, back to Whitfurrow's. Great. Um, <laughs> Easy walk. It's like maybe forty-five minutes. Um, so, what is your plan? What, 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 where, where do you plan to go from from here? How long was a walk? It, it, how, it's forty-five minutes. You said. Or? Yeah, it's really close. Like if you look here, this uh, Whitfurrows okay. is on uh, the <sighs> crossroads of the East Road here, and the Boffin Estate is just right, right, like half an inch away. Um, so very close. So, okay. yeah, so you know that Hard Bottle is way up here to the north um, al- along the Brandywine River. Uh, so, yeah, it's a quite, quite, a, quite a way to go. All right, so does anyone want a snack or should we stop somewhere? Like walk for a little while, then stop, have something to eat or talk about the birds and the bees or whatever else Balin wants to bring up. <laughs> Hey, hey, that sounds good to me. We'll walk and talk and eat and hey, let's do it. Talk. Okay. Um Birds and peace. Well yeah. <laughs> as you as you're walking and kind of discussing your next plan of action, uh, as mm-hmm. you get back to Whitfurrows, you see um one of the local local the local taverns, uh, the dancing dragon, uh that there is a group of people outside and Lobelia, you recognize that one of the hobbits sitting at a table outside this establishment is Bruno, your brother. Bruno? Is it, is it a strip club? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not. The dancing dragon? I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. Let's be honest. Let's be adults, Skid. <laughs> no. She goes up, they they have like... opened my comedy on Thursdays, oh. but there's no stripping. <laughs> <laughs> she goes up she's like Bruno I thought you were at our father's house I was just at mother's she said you went why are you here uh, he's like and he's like looks up at you and he's just like he sees that you're with Bilbo and and Balin the dwarf and he says like Lobelia I don't know about you you go around getting involved in this adventurous nonsense hanging around with mad baggins and dwarves what's wrong with you yeah, off with you and he goes back to his drink. Oh, you will not. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Okay. Do you want to do an awe roll? Yes. To try to get his attention? Yes. Okay. Love it. Let's give, Let's us, give I... us an awe check. And remember that you are weary. I'm weary, but it's also a favored skill. That's true. So I get that at least. So let's do That's the true. D12s first. A six is my good one. So I'll keep that. All right, come on, don't let me down. Ugh, 11 total. Okay, so as you're like laying into it, like what do you say? I just maybe stumble over my words because my brain isn't as quick right now being weary slash hungover and surprised to see him here and just the way that he disrespected me in front of all of my friends. Um, Wasn't expecting any of that. So maybe just kind of like, what? <laughs> yeah. I've never Perfect. seen them be like without words before. <laughs> right. Yeah, th- you've never, you probably, yeah, you guys have never seen it. So yeah, you, the rest of you looking at him, like Bruno looks like a bigger, meaner version of Lobelia. Um, so it's just like, you can see like this is, you've never seen this dynamic with her and like mm. another one of her family before. It's just like, she's sort of like diminished a little like by him. And not um, so bad, right? <laughs> yeah. So does anyone else want to try, uh, you can do either uh, persuade or a riddle check or an awe. Um, you can still try an awe. Mm. Um, um, let's, oh, go ahead. You go, of course. 
Oh, no, I, I don't know the fella. Listen, hi. Uh, I, uh, I, will, I will try a persuade check, but I'm not sure what, okay. what, what we want, what I want to, what I want him to, what I want to pursue him of. Um, uh, well, you just, you, the, the fireworks are nowhere in sight. So, like, you just want to, like, probably know where are the fireworks. All right. Listen, boy. Balin, son of Fundin, in case you wanted to know that. Um, I am, um, we've heard rumors of some fireworks going off and we were wondering perhaps if you know anything about that um uh, i'll buy you a beer if you tell me the truth Ooh, okay <laughs> that's a persuade okay so give me a persuade check that is not a favorite skill for you you do have two pips in it yep so give me a feet die and two success dice and you are not weary uh that's going to be 14 so yes uh um, okay that so you is make it. against my target number yeah okay so he's just at the he's just like pretty dismissive and very sort of suspicious of you as a dwarf as any hobbit would be um but the minute you mention buying him a beer he's just like yeah yeah, yeah all right all right yeah all right yeah. <laughs> I've, I've pull up a pull up a bench <laughs> um so uh do you, do you buy him a beer Yes, and uh, okay. may I may I have the rest of my my group with me as well? Are you? Uh, yeah, all, right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're buying, that's fine. Yes, of Even course. Even Lobelia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I don't know what I've ever done to you. All right. So here, come on. All right. I gave the fireworks off to uh, one of the uh, hobbits working for our father. Uh, for for Blanco, uh, it's his name. Uh, I've seen it before. Uh, uh, Otho, Otho Sackville Baggins. That's who it was. <gasps> oh, what? wait, uh, I know that name. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. do. <laughs> you guys know that name? Yeah. You do. <laughs> uh, who is this person? What? Where? Wait, where do we know this person does from the story? Also, marry Lobelia. He does. <gasps> You yeah, gave our really fireworks did. to Otho Baggins. A Sackville Baggins. Sackville Baggins. Oh, They're not Baggins. Sackville Baggins. Sackville, no, Baggins. Right, right, yeah. So, uh, no. And he said that like he would take them off the hard bottle after he stopped in Scarry for a pint. So, there you go. If you want them, oh, like, no. he took off to the North Road. He's stopping in Scarry, and that's the way he's going. So not good. I'll have my beer, please. <laughs> Indeed. Um, uh, and uh, Balin uh, gives buys him the strongest ale he could find to see if uh, the the he will pass out. Bruno will pass out from it instead of continuing to drink. All right. Uh, so he, yeah, he chugs it. He says, "You know, you dwarves are all right. I don't care what any of the people in this town say. Repeatedly at the top of their lungs." You dwarves are all right. And he passes out, his head n- knocks on the table. Indeed we are. We are all right. And he pats Bruno and then gives him a little bit uh, harder tap than necessary, uh, <laughs> like at the back of his head. Maybe crushing his, him crushing his yeah. spine. <laughs> like, uh, he punches uh, him across the face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dwarvish Sorry about goodbye. that, Lobelia, but your brother is a piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not very friendly to me, but he is my family. <laughs> he's That's handsome, what too. They said. <laughs> yeah, well, they, it's like what we dwarves always say, water is thicker than blood. <laughs> <laughs> what? <It's true. laughs> we work a little differently up there. Uh... I, That's uh, how it works. Wise words. Wise <laughs> thank you. Words. Thank you, Paladin. So you like took. Very wise okay, words. Okay, well, thank you for getting that information out of him. Okay. Mm. I got okay. you. So you guys feel like, especially Bilbo, you feel like there's, you probably feel like there's some urgency here. Yeah. Like, you, you, this is, like these things are volatile. There could be an accident. Yeah. So and and he, you, he, he stopped off to have a pint. This is bad. We got to go now. We got to go now. <laughs> I love the accent. Let's no. go. No. I love the accent. No. No. <laughs> no. Um, right, lead the way, Paladin. Uh, me? Okay. Yes, I believe yes, in you. Yes, you. All right. Let's go. Wait a minute. Yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> what? What? 
Bilbo is looking at Lobelia. He's like, what do you know of this Otho Sackville Baggins person that's friends with your brother? Do you know anything about him? Mm. Um, I mean, I know that he helps out my father sometimes. Does she know anything helps else about him? Helps your father do what? Your father does nothing. He's a drunkard. What is he helping him do? Well, hard battle's not going to take care of itself. My father's only one hobbit. He needs help. He probably helps. Mm. I mean, this is a perfect example. Bringing the fireworks to hard bottle. Was mm. my, my father going to leave the house unattended? And yeah, Lobelia, sure. your family owns. So that's the like the area around uh, the hills of Scary uh, up north uh, with the, the Brock and Boars and, and uh, like dwelling and everything. This is like the center of mining in the Shire. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are the sort of the most sort of dwarvish sort of hobbits and they <gasps> are kind of responsible for all the like ores and building stone and everything that is used in the Shire so up here uh-huh. and your family owns like a lot of like mining concerns like up in this area Ooh. Ooh. Oh so of course we have <laughs> that's right <laughs> so uh Okay, so do you guys okay. do you guys set off immediately? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. With urgency. Okay. So <laughs> it's uh it's yeah, it's getting a little late now. Um the sun dips below the horizon, uh, clearly ashamed of its many flaws. Uh <laughs> and as you as you start like kind of making your way along the road, you hear like thunder, like off in the distance, and before long, um, the clouds like roll in as heavy rain uh, starts falling. The road is muddy. This is tough going. Everyone, give me another travel roll. Ooh. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep spending hope. I I got it too. Do yeah, it. like I'm doing, doing it. it. Oops, wait, wrong thing. Whoops. Can I can no. I help others by giving them hope? I forget. Can I like spend the hope to other uh, like my hope to others? I don't think so. I don't think so. There is right. like there is a skill that's like you can inspire others. Inspire I think, others, yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm not sure mm-hmm. if that would apply here. Maximum um, one hope spent. Yeah, and you can only spend one hope on a single roll. Okay. Okay. Although, I'll remember too, hope. remember your features that you have, your distinctive features. If you can make yeah. a case yeah. for any one of them applying, you would be inspired for this roll. You could spend one hope point to get two dice instead are of one. Th- are these rustic travels? Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're out in the country. Yeah, yeah, I can, you can, you could be inspired, sure. If you're rustic. Mm, and then five, and then. You can be inspired if you're rustic. I failed. Anybody? (laughs) Okay. Bilbo fails. I got Sauron's eye. I got Sauron's eye, too. Oh, Oh, no. no. Oh, no. I passed. Okay. And and Maline again. This hardy dwarfin stock. Rory barely passed along with Maline, maybe looking up to him. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, you're kind of, maybe you're kind of like following Bil- ba- Balin's lead and you're you're able to kind of like keep your, your spirits up. Yeah. That's actually, you that's see, an interesting yeah. thing too about the yeah. mechanics that we won't get into at this point because you're in the Shire, but you mm-hmm. can uh, accrue shadow points mm. uh, out in the wider world with like when you get closer to like <sighs> the darkness of the enemy yes. and everything. That's yes, not part this of, is oh, what I want to do. Story. Exactly. That's like my favorite mechanic of the it's entire game. It's a really game. cool, yeah. But yeah. it's like it's not really like the Shire is kind of no. insulated from all it's that. Too far so like away. You're, yeah. you're not really gonna like run into that. But if you if you're at any point your shadow points equal your hope points, you become yeah. miserable. And in that case, whenever you roll the feet die and you hit the eye of Sauron, it's an automatic uh, failure, no matter what. Mm. Okay, so uh. everybody fails except for Balin and Rory, correct? Yeah. Okay, so all the rest of you get two fatigue points. Sick. Oh, okay. Okay, and do you guys okay. have all the same gear that you had in the last adventure? Is that you're carrying that over? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the load. 
Share uh, the load. And and you said we carry the fatigue over too, right? No, fatigue you don't carry over. Fatigue is eliminated after a long rest. Oh. Well, okay. not one long rest. I think takes away. Uh, I can't remember. But this has been it, weeks. It's, it's, so, yeah, exactly. It's one. Yeah. It's it's something with like uh, one point per the adventure, but like one point per long rest. Uh, you get your stamina back or whatever it's uh yeah but i think yeah. between the adventures sometimes it carries over but like you said it's been weeks so yeah it's been weeks it so it was yeah. da- down to zero uh what's that i i had four so that means it was down to zero yeah or? yes i had yeah. four too yeah awesome. yeah you come in with no fatigue like oh no wait those, it's yeah. it's hope that comes back sorry yeah, hope, hope hope to- comes back slowly and i'm actually i'm just ruling it like for the purposes of this adventure you weren't here ellie that um, mm-hmm. you won't, you you guys won't be earning back any hope over the course of this series. Uh, so the I mean, the hope points that you spend are more precious. So it just uh, yeah, oh dear that God, that. some would yeah. call it hopeless. It's, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, because um, the last couple games we were like, you know, this with the hope stuff. So now we're pulling back. Yeah, spending mm. it like crazy, like it was ne- would yeah. never run out. Like you're like yeah. it was a dot com stock. <laughs> so, so you guys, uh, you travel overnight. You actually, you end up uh, kind of uh, spending a few hours, a couple of hours in a deserted building um, during the night for for the let the worst of the rain pass. And mm-hmm. around dawn, you approach the town of Scary. Um, it is ah. Scary is an unwelcoming <laughs> village by Hobbit standards. <laughs> Um, it's, you know that it's populated by hardworking, no-nonsense hobbits living in homes made of gray, gray stone. Uh, the people here are, they really are like sort of dwarvish, like they spend a lot of time like dig. I mean, hobbits are natural burrowers, but they spend a lot of time in mines. They're, they're sort of terse. Uh, they're not very friendly. They're kind of unkind, actually. Um, so. Balin loves it. Yeah, Balin, like, you probably feel Balin, right at home. Balin uh, uh, embraces Paladin and says, Paladin, you smell that? That is the smell <laughs> of hard work and real men. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> at eight. Yes, you heard me, Bilbo. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, what, do you, what do you do? Like, you see, like, some people, these hobbits, like, kind of milling about... Um, what it, what uh, what do you do? Uh, well, Bilbo. I mean, he feels like he's like a rock star, doesn't he? So he feels like everybody should know who he is. So yeah. he's gonna like walk forward, like no autographs. I'm fine here. I'm a regular person here, adventuring with my friends. We're <laughs> looking for someone important. <laughs> Don't worry. It's no autographs, no pictures, yeah. not right now. That's fine. And they're all like giving you the eye. They're just like, what the hell is this crazy hobbit doing? I know, seeing me in person can be kind of daunting at first, but I promise <laughs> I'm just a hobbit like you. <laughs> You've been around the world, but have you been to the mills of scary before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bilbo, I don't know if you, I don't know if, do you think you've been here before? No. This is not exactly like a vacation spot for, for hobbits. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be here before, not really, but you know, uh, you know, stories of my travels and my adventures have reached far and wide. So Certainly. I expect people to be a little, you know, at first, it's all right though. And yeah, that certainly it seems to be playing out here. There's a lot of suspicion and uh, strange looks that you're getting. Um, do you approach anyone? Do you ask anyone, like, if they've seen anybody? Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, uh, oh, geez. Well, who's you doing talking? Come on, these are the dwarves. Nope. Lead the way. Right. Of course. Well, no, the I, I, was just... I, I feel nervous. I don't want to uh, say something wrong. I I don't know what how dwarves talk to each other, so... Well, I wasn't sure because we have obviously the star of the company, Bilbo. But right, like of they Paladin, they're still hobbits. They're not dwarves. They speak to you. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I thought they were actually dwarves. I misread skins. <laughs> they're they're dwarf-like. Not dwarf. <laughs> like. You confused me over here. I was like, what just happened? I'm sorry. Uh, I got it. Okay, so uh, yeah, isn't there? Aren't there like three kinds of hobbit? I, I feel like there's yeah. like. 
Yeah. Human Golem. hobbits, elf hobbits, and dwarf mm. hobbits. Yeah, the yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. The the three it, the breakdown is Harfoots are kind of like average. Uh, the average hobbits they're more kind of comfortable around humans. Mm-hmm. Uh, fallow hides are sort of taller and fairer. They're more kind of comfortable with uh, like akin to elves and stewers, uh, which are, that's uh, right. this is probably like a very stewerish kind of area. I think. Actually, I think uh, I think I think Smeagol was a stewardish yeah. hobbit. Yep. Um, but oh, yeah, uh, yeah. but yeah, that, but the, so yeah, this is probably like a very stewardish kind of area. It's funny too Stoor, because yeah. in uh, in old Dungeons and Dragons, the way they got around it was it was uh, instead of instead of Harfoots, Fallow Heights, and Stewards, it was hare feet, a uh, tall fellows, and stout hobbits. Wow. Uh, uh, trivia. Mm, Stoor um, means uh, big uh, in Swedish. Stoor. Oh, there you go. All right, well, uh, in that case, he'll walk up to one of these uh, store hobbits, um, uh, Paladin Will, and he'll say, Hello! Nice to meet you. My name's Paladin. Uh, I come from the south. Uh, what's your name? Uh, you're a Tuklander by the by the sound of your stupid voice. <laughs> well, it's right, but it's still rude. <laughs> hey, calling out someone's rudeness, that's, very, that's a very Tukish trait. We don't much care for toques around here. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'll ask us your name. Is that something you can't give? My name? You want? Aye. My name's Adelard. Well, Adelard, I, I, I think it's... Adelard Burroughs. Oh. That's a real good sounding name for, for digging deep in the earth. I like Are it. Are you mocking me? No! No, it's all right. Like the it. thing to do is to mock someone for his name. Oh, you mistake me. I got no. Mo- I don't have a mocking bone in my body. I, I, I appreciate the name. Eh, hey, look, we're getting off topic here. I'm wondering if you saw a fella come through here uh, by the name of. And he snaps behind him. Otto. 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 Orth. Orth. Uh, Otho. 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 Sackville Baggins. Otho Sackville Baggins. He's been Otho. through here. You know, you know someone named Otho? Otho Sackville Baggins. That's the... Hey, that's the one. That's a made-up name if ever I heard one. You're having me on. <laughs> so... Doesn't so, matter, though. There was only one visitor's come by recently, and he went over there, and he, like, he points over to this, like, kind of low building. Uh, it's owned by some... Uh, some uh, uh, some uh, mining concerns up 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 north there in uh, in Dwelling. Hmm. Uh, they gave him a room for the night. I think he's still there. Didn't catch his name, but I'm sure it wasn't Abadus Shabadu Sackville Malungi or whatever you said. Well, all right. Thank you. We'll go check it out, and you uh, good luck there with the the digging, Mister Burrow. Right. Have a wonderful day. And he just kind of pushes his wheelbarrow away. And uh, Paladin, not disheartened at all by this incredibly rude mm. hobbit, is going to <laughs> stroll on over uh, to this house where this new visitor is, has come. Okay. So you throw open the door. Um, and I there kick is, it in. You kick in the door, <laughs> startling uh, the, one, the one occupant. Uh, there is a, a little... <laughs> <laughs> There is. <laughs> yes. Bruce! <laughs> FBI, open up! This is a raid! <laughs> Fireworks are illegal in the shot! I just see the, the intro We're cutting. on the ground! Cutting We're to from cops. the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh my God! They've got two dwarves in the paddy wagon already. They're, they're, they're making their way through town. <clears throat> Sorry, Grant. What were, you, what were you saying? I was just seeing the intro to Cops. You know how there's like Cops Miami Beach and Cops New York. I just see <laughs> Cops Mills of Scary and Bad Boys. Bad Boys. What you gonna what do? You do? What you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, those like founders. Man. Founders. <laughs> scary. Uh, uh, no, so uh, so he'll uh, he'll go in. Yeah. Okay, so you open the door, and yeah, you see a, a, a hobbit, a balding hobbit with spectacles, and he seems quite busy, uh, kind of making entries in this big leather-bound uh, tome. Are you he there? Kind of looks up, looks up, and says, "Hey, hello, 
Hey, uh, good morning to you. Hello. And he just goes back to his his book. Uh, very sorry <laughs> to interrupt you. Uh, we're looking for a, a hobbit might come this way. It goes by the name of Otho Sackville Baggins. I you heard that name. I'm ve- very busy, very, very busy. Sorry, can't talk today. All right, so we're going to need three successes here. So uh, you can use uh, any skill that you think is relevant. Inquisitive. Uh, inc- huh? Yeah, very good, Lobelia. Yes. yes. Yeah. I will okay. scan. Okay. No, wait. Yeah, you can uh, scan. Uh, um, I'm going to do... I'm going to use my distinctive feature of inquisitive and also... Uh, courtesy. Okay. And I'm going to use a hope point because I'm using distinctive feature and I get two for that. Great. Lower that down. All right. Eight. Uh, I'm going to use Persuade uh, and spend a hope point. I'm just going to straight up try to, you know, charm the guy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Be nice to him. Great. Because he, he has not been rude yet. Not yet. Ooh. We're being rude to him by interrupting him. That's true. He's just working. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go. What, Lobelia, what, what, is, what is your result? Let's see. I got an eight on my feet die. Good. And nice. I got one six. The rest don't count because I'm weary. But that's enough because my target number is 12. Okay, yeah. And that counts as two successes if oh, you want. Right. Yes. Oh, huge. Yeah. Yes. Um, so what do you say? What do you say to the, to the fellow? I say, uh, pardon me, sir. Um, I'm just looking for a man named Ortho Sackville Baggins. He works for my father up north in Hardbottle. Um, and when throwing the name helps, <laughs> yeah. And once and uh, do you, do you say who your father is? What's my dad's name again? <laughs> I'll just say like Mister Brace Girdle. Why don't yeah. you just tell me <laughs> my dad's name? <laughs> uh, okay, so so yeah, so when when you say Brace Girdle, um, he's like, like looks up and he's just like, oh, oh, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, Oh, no worries. I'm his daughter, actually. Lobelia Grace Girdle. Oh, <laughs> yes. I see. I'm... I'm Brace I'm Girdle. Brace Girdle, yes. Brace oh, Girdle. yes. Uh, the, the mining Brace Girdle. Yes. I oh, know. I'm sorry. Uh, well, off, off, Otho, you said, right? Yes. Yes. Um, yes, actually, it's strange you mentioned him. Uh, we had... Uh, we shared a room uh, last night. Uh, we uh, shared a room and some some ale um, that some uh, dwarves had, uh, had generously uh, dropped off for us uh, <gasps> a few days ago, um, and uh, he he told me. Let me see. He said that there was a particular tunnel in the quarry that was proving. Had proved, had proved to be very fruitful, but that no one, not even dwarves, and he looks over at Balin and says, uh, had been able to penetrate it too deeply because the rock was too hard. And it's interesting because when he mentioned that tunnel, I had heard stories about such, that, about that, that area. There are ghoulish tales that I've heard about a lost miner haunting that very tunnel, that specific tunnel. Uh, pa- passages abandoned after flooding and rumors of ghostly voices echoing in the empty chambers. Mm. Mm. Bone chilling stuff. And he goes back to his book. Okay. Um, all right, Rory or Paladin, you, you tried? I Paladin dead and he failed that. Failed, okay. Yeah, with three d6s and a d12 oh. and uh yeah i rolled one two three five Ow. i bet he Shit. wasn't impressed with barging into his house right <laughs> he, try, he tries to smooth it over you know he's just like i'm just uh, it's a, but nobody like wants that. to work come on <laughs> take a break and have a and a pint with me in the middle of the morning and the guy's just not responding to his charms Okay. Um, does anyone else give a give a give a, a, a shot? I'll I'll try. Um, okay. Balin is gonna use the enhearten, um, uh, and he's going to be 
Oh, you know, is there anywhere I can sit down? I, I'm, my, my back is hurting, and I'm, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling too well. well uh, he's trying to like make the make uh, 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 the yeah, what, uh, whatever uh, this guy's uh, name is. Uh, for, I forgot. Uh, receptionist. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Mr. Philbert. Mr. His name is Phil. Phil. Philibert. Philibert, uh, and he's trying to make him uh, take uh, take pity on on this, uh, like Balin, pretending that he's a little older and uh, uh, a little bit more uh, needs uh, I don't know needs something like a glass of water or something, and be like, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. And I'm gonna okay. spend a hope point for it. Okay, great. And you're using persuade. Uh, and hearten oh. is isn't that what oh, that means? Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Yeah. Um, and actually, yeah. Uh, 14. My target number is 14. Oh, amazing. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, like you you lay on this, this spiel and he's just like, oh, I'm so sorry, my my dear fellow, yeah, let me. And he goes over and like pours you uh, like a little cup of water. He's Thank like, you. I didn't um, realize. You must be weary from the road. It is it is very indeed. difficult, this part of, uh, part of the Shire. Indeed, indeed. Thank you. I've, I'm coming from abroad, as you can tell. I, yes, uh, yes, I'm I not can see. from this part of the world. No, and no. Uh, yes, uh, but dwarves are no strangers to this area, but uh, no, you have no. a different uh, sort of look about you, uh, if I do say so. Ah, well, thank you. You know, p- 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 it occurs to me that uh, with that third and final success of your <laughs> roles, right. that Otho, uh, he inebriated as he was he started blathering about some sort of treasure mine and about how soon everyone in the shire was going to be speaking to him with proper respect and he kept i remember distinctly kept patting patting this large sack that he'd had with them i never saw what was in it but uh, he stumbled off more than a bit tipsy just before dawn and he mm-hmm. asked me for directions to reach this treasure mine and i gave them to him and he left with Let's see. He had a lantern, a tinder box, uh, some rope, and uh, and the sack that he brought with him. Oh, interesting. Oh. And you t- and you said that this was a haunted mine. Yes, that's the stories I've heard. It's it's quite famous. Um, and the uh, Balin looks at Bilbo. Who like, has sunglasses on now, like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Never mind. Um, and he tries to look at the Why other. Why is your three. friend wearing darkened spectacles indoors? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Bilbo takes him off. And he's like, I heard you say treasure. That's what I heard you discussing. Yes, treasure. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, the rumor is that it is a vein of, of a very uh, rich ore of some sort or another. And yes, he's uh, apparently he's convinced that he can succeed where even the dwarves could not. Huh. What an idiot. <laughs> well, <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm. Well, Maybe it's thank not you. Some and uh, blockheaded and Balin, brace girdle or anything. And Balin, oh. Balin uh, tosses, tosses him a coin of like, thank you for, ah. uh, for the water. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Thank you. I did not mean to startle you there. The generosity of the dwarves has been under-advertised. Thank you. Bites it. Um, so yeah, so he gives you like directions to get to this specific tunnel if you want to follow. Mm. Mm. Uh, Balin would take this moment to gather the hobbitses around <laughs> and say, What do you think, old friend? You know, Bilbo... We've been through this before. Treasure can be a devious, devious mistress. Um, right. I do not. I don't know if we. Uh... <laughs> you guys are laughing about the sun too. Uh, no, no, yeah. no, no, I'm just. Yeah. Here we go again. Treasure is a lot like the sun. <laughs> Similar to it's dark and scary. It's, it's dark and frightening, like yes. the sun. It is. So it is enough. this fierce and jealous love of the the mistress of treasures and gold, but he refers to dragon sickness, actually, but mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> but he says it in a weird way um, of, like, starting to talk, uh, describe it as a woman again. Uh, so he's like, it's curvy, <laughs> and it can really lure you when you at least expect it and take all of your money, and you have to pay <laughs> alimony for what, what, several what years. Sorry, you said treasure... Yes. 
takes all your money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a curvy mistress? Like I, I got confused. We were talking about treasure. Sorry. I thought we were talking about my bitch mother. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's okay. That's who hurt you. Excellent. Right. We were trying to find out who, who it was that hurt you. Yes. Sorry, sorry about you. Oh, it was his mother, obviously. <laughs> Mothers hurt people. Oh, right. Really? He's, because That's he's never had love. carnal relations with it. Oh, of course. It must be the mother. Understood. Yeah. Let me tell you something, everyone, about mothers. They are like the moon. <laughs> Right, have a, everyone take a seat. Everyone takes a seat. Yeah. <laughs> Gather up. How, how, the moon. How, Bolin? How are they like the moon? You know, they have craters on their skin from the acne. <laughs> what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What I want to warn you all about. Is your mother a monster? I thought it was because of the dark side and the light side of your mother. Maybe well, you don't see, have a light that side? Been a, that would have been a much better analogy. Thank oh, you. I thought it was because <laughs> mothers were made of cheese. Is that Thank you. That, also, that too would make a lot more sense. Oh. Uh, but I chose the crater of the face. <laughs> the crater of the face. <laughs> what is the guy Probably. doing? Is he hearing us talk like this? <laughs> He's just staring. He's just like... <laughs> Sorry, I, I haven't been exposed to much dwarven wisdom. Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> drink, drink it well, all in. Well, you can listen to. What I wanted to say, shall anyone venture into this haunted mine? I want to warn you that we may find things that might challenge you in ways that your tiny little hobbit brain has never been challenged before. <laughs> Have you heard about our previous adventures? What? We had the club of Braggadozo. What does it mean? <laughs> Bro, you told him about the owl, right? We talked to an owl. <laughs> yes, yes, right. we and, there, and there was a river, and the water was running fast over the rocks, and we crossed it. Very and, well, then. And, and, you and, seem and more than prepared. And we did something you're incapable of, which is uh. trust a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, I rest my case. We're the most prepared group I have encountered. We shall proceed. Okay. But yeah, but it's interesting. We go, I mean, we go into the mines. Right. Okay. <laughs> this is going to end well. Okay. You've been with a woman? Then you must be ready to go into the deep, deep mines. That they too are moist and dark. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got the mic. Grant. Okay. Cut the mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So anyway, I apologize. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Can we just spend the night here? I'll sign your book for you. If you want. Uh, so you guys head um, east towards the quarry, <laughs> towards where the the tunnel is, the tunnel entrance is. Um. And yeah, you get to the area like you could see like all the holes like uh, the the hillside is dotted with uh, mine entrances and there's the the mine. What do they call it? The the, the trail of waste outside of the mines. Oh, the uh, slash, uh, not slough. I'm making slag. a joke. Slag. Slag. Yeah, keep? It's a, but it's a sp specific name that like in Colorado, like you'd see it all the time. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, so you a see that slut. it's just like this is like mining country, and you can see like all the uh, local the hobbits kind of like milling around again, like with with wheelbarrows and picks, and like coming in and out of the mines. Uh, what do you do? Um, we need to I, figure I, out what. What? Uh, uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> anyone? <laughs> anyone? <laughs> <laughs> you were about to say something. We wanted to let you have your word. Uh, yeah, I was going to say something. And I was like, why is Paladin talking about this? This doesn't make any sense. He doesn't know anything about mines. Um, I mean, I, I think that this is Balin territory again. But, um, uh, 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 but, I, but I guess the bigger yeah. question is, are we just walking into the mine? Or, or is there something we need to do ahead of time? Like, do we need other tools? Uh, do we need, like, picks and rope? Mm. And, like... You know, should we should we take precautions to ask the dwarves for a few items that miners go down there with for safety? Uh, that feels very un hobbity for me. For Rory, Rory's just kind of fo gonna follow whoever seems oh, like he knows sure. what's going on. So uh, yeah, I'm just okay. gonna go in. 
Unless right. anyone stops me. I'm following Balin. Yeah. Um, okay. I think. Okay. Can I can I roll like a a scan or explore or whatever to see if there's any anomalies? 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 Uh, Is that what you say? Anomalies. Anomalies. Yeah. Anomalies. And that uh, Emily Dickinson <laughs> novel. <Yeah>. Anomaly. <laughs> uh, roll. Yeah. Roll. Roll scan. Roll scan. It's my favorite skill. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's a that's a super hit. Okay. Um, but those no, no sixes, so no extra successes. I don't know if you play with those rules, but okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, so you see that, yeah, like you can see, like that must be the mine entrance that he was talking about. Like you can see it, and you don't see any like people like going in and out of it. But there are like miners and officials, like kind of like all around the area. It's kind of like the uh, the dig scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, it's just like there's a one, there's a place, one place is untouched, but like, everyone's kind of like kind of uh, keeping their distance around it. Um, but you would have to like maneuver your way past a oh. uh, bunch of miners to like get in there. You're could not we, sure that would work. Could we sneak through? Yeah, because we could sneak through or create a diversion, perhaps. I mean, this is my mine. Why can't oh, I just in? go in? Hey, uh, um, uh, inspection. Yes. Emergency yes. inspection. Yes. Right. A you know, stand up straight, backs to the wall, look straight ahead. You could use a real authoritative voice and do it. I could. Should. Or. <laughs> well, I could be um, reading Skid's face. No, well, we could uh, um, fall in jumping on uh, Paladin Took's uh, suggestion of like, you know what, Labelia, I could potentially be the inspector that you brought with oh. him. Oh. This is making more sense now. Yes. And then I maybe wish. everyone else is your little helper. Exactly. I'm learning, I'm teaching them the ropes of mining. Yes. <sighs> this is so you, Paladin Took. You are a very smart boy. Okay. <laughs> so you, is that your plan of action? I think yeah. so. Okay. All right. Uh, right. So you you approach the the mine with this in, intending to to take this this tack, and um, as soon as you like get on the grounds and you start to get close, um, you're immediately stopped. It says, "All right, wait there, wait there." He says, like, "Where do you think you're going?" Excuse me, sir. I'm Lobelia Bracegirdle. We're here for an inspection. Oh, <laughs> you're Lobelia Bracegirdle, are you? Oh, and I'm the king of Arnor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no one's allowed here. Please. Like, you'll have to... This is not safe. You'll have to leave. Take out a hanky with, like, my anagram name on it. It's, like, all fancy, and it's my initials. Listen, if you've got trouble uh, with the breathing especially, like, you should definitely not be here. <laughs> please, <laughs> this really is not safe. It's like, I'm going to have to insist. It's like, and they can't bring a dwarf in here. Can, please, please, go. Go, go, go. He is the inspector. Inspector. Yeah, he's the inspector, and I'm the witch king of Angmar. All right, please, <laughs> go. Please get out of here. <laughs> so, right, you, so we're, we're yeah, you find out. You, you it quickly becomes clear that like there's no way you're going to get in here. Uh, you you would have so, to wait until after dark and try we're not going to talk our way in. We have you to can, yeah. Just wait till I see to my infiltrate. father. <laughs> I'm going to fire him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Balin is be like, fire yeah. this guy. Balin is pissed off. Which? Well, Ain't while we were up there, I'm we... sorry. I just, um, <laughs> I, sorry. I, I just don't remember. What's your father's first name? Bruce. No. Bruce. <laughs> no, it's <Don't> Bruce. Be <laughs> silly. Yeah, His name know. is Finnegan. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Finnegan. Finnegan oh. Brace, Brace Girdle. Girdle. Cortland Finnegan Brace Girdle. That's famous right. That's Buffalo right. Bills linebacker. All right. Um, all right. Let's wait. Let's wait then till after dark. I While we were it. up there, did we like see a way to sneak in? Yeah. Could we use that as a chance to roll a scan maybe yeah. and see Why a not, good way exactly in at night? Good idea. Actually. When I scanned, yeah. Yeah. Well, Balin and actually any of you... And Lobili would probably know this too. Like after dark, this place will be completely deserted. Like there won't be anyone here. Okay. There's no. There, there won't Perfect. be any need Perfect. to like try to sneak in. Like it'll just. There won't be anyone here. Okay. All right. Hmm. Do you think word will get back to your father that you're in town? 
Maybe. Why would that matter? What if he comes looking for you? Ah. Uh, He's not my Finnegan's mother. Finnegan's a very reasonable man. <laughs> <laughs> Just ask, just asking. Is that what you think when you're in town and you're like, I hope my father doesn't know I'm here and come look for me? I don't know who my father is. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm a daddy's girl, so. So well, that explains do this a lot. Night, then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Paladin but slowly pulls out his wood axe. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh, get out of sight for a little while, kill some time. Okay. What um, do we do? You mean why we're killing time? Yes. Uh, riddles. Ooh. And uh, we do hours of riddles. Okay. Hours of Hi. riddles. Endlessly hey. entertaining. Can we see who won? Mm -hmm. Let's all do a riddle yeah, roll. Yeah, everybody oh, see who's the highest. Riddle roll. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, right. Wrong dice. Who <laughs> has Gandalf <laughs> on their side? Oh, yay. I do. I literally oh. rolled a 12. Oh, wow. And okay. a six. And a five. Okay. Okay. Damn, Joe. Got an eight and a six. So I was pretty oh, good, nice. but not as good as you. Okay. Yeah, no. Uh, but you got an, it, an outstanding five. success, right? Lobelia? I got a six, six yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you get a six, Joe? I did. Okay. And a 12. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then you, Joe, is you definitely in the lead here. So Paladin yeah. is like, mm -hmm. lead the way. Yeah. What was the riddle? What was the riddle you told that no one Is it a limerick? <laughs> a limerick? It was a filthy limerick. <laughs> <laughs> there once was a young man from Hardbottle. <laughs> and none of you could figure out what his deal was. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So, yeah, you... Uh, Paladin shines, and that's like, it's really interesting. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, you all wait for the sun to set so you don't have to contend with its many flaws. Um, and... You follow the rutted track, and you get closer and clo closer to the darkness that lies at the feet of the hills of Scary. <gasps> the cold of the night air, even in summer, makes you shiver as you try not to stumble on the many broken rocks littering the path. In time, your eyes adjust, and you're able to see the outline of the hilltops contrasting against the clear night sky. On the side of the hills, you make out the many tunnel entrances that you saw during the day, gaping like bleak mouths leading into a seemingly unpenetrable darkness. It is a scary prospect to go underground at this hour of the night, but you know that you must discover what happened to Otho Sackville Baggins before it is too late. Each of you must make a valor roll to avoid losing one point of hope. Oh, oh no. yeah, I, you know, I was thinking about that because, um, when he explained what his like you know not his intentions were but like when you mm -hmm. started to pile up piece everything together you're like this is so bad and very very dangerous oh yeah yeah, yeah. Um, this is genuinely dangerous yeah yeah i'm yeah. oh, sorry what is a valor roll mm -hmm. so valor if you guys look under your heart skills um yes. next to rewards you see valor it should have a number in the little diamond box there so uh, yeah. Valor, okay. that is the number of dice that you roll in addition to your feet die and try okay. to get your target number for your heart. Uh, oh that's, that's what you roll. Yeah, you wow, know. this is hard. Oh it's, my God. It's hard All for right. some, easier for others. I know Baleen, you have a very high Valor. I do, but I have, I rolled like shit. I rolled four ones and oh, one six. Whoa. How? Okay, oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Well, uh, yeah. You got a six. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what did one, your feet get? What'd you get in your feet? Uh, uh, that one was the one who got one. So one, oh. one, one, six, yeah. So you fail. Yeah, like I have, wow. yeah. <laughs> okay, Great. so you lose a point of hope. <laughs> uh, what about Paladin? Fail by one. I rolled an eight and a two on the success oh. die. Oh, for this yeah. one. I only needed an 11 and I got a 10. Yeah, you got a, you got a really, you're, you're, you got a good heart and yeah, you still weren't able to I'm make in, it. I'm in, I'm in single digits on hope. Uh, what about Lobelia? What'd you get? Fail. Fail two. You've got a yep. good heart too, what? but you only have a valor of one. Yep. All right, Bilbo though. Bilbo has a very, a pretty high valor. Well, higher That's than right. anyone with Balin. Because what did I'm brave as a pinch. Yeah. I'm brave as a pinch. Yes. I got 12, and then I got two, four, two. So I did make my target okay. number. Okay, so you are mm -hmm. you do not lose. You you alone, out of the party, do not 
suffer any loss of hope. Um, okay. Damn. Damn. So, How about Ruby? Ruby or Rory? No, oh, yeah, Rory. Rory. Sorry. What, what'd you get, Rory? I, I cru- Ruby. Ruby really crushed it. <laughs> uh, Ruby got a 10 and a 5. No way. Um, which was about as high as you could possibly do without the hope of Gandalf for an extraordinary success. So uh, that was pretty a good. 15 out of 13. So I do not lose hope either. Okay. Well done, uh, Ruby. Thank but you. Please, no matter how well you did, don't take your love to town. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> so you go in and you start, yeah, I guess you have, you have lanterns and stuff that you took uh, with your adventuring gear. So you light a couple of lanterns and you My enter God, this the is tunnel. Scary. One of you way, should yeah. be, Sorry. one of you has to be chosen as the explorer. You have to be leading the pack. You, the leader is going to be making uh, a succession of explorer skill rules. Um... Which I of volunteer. you will do the, Okay. I volunteer. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, is it favored for you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and how many pips are in it? Two. All right. <laughs> okay. No, Paladin. You can uh, walk next to me if you want. Could I be like your assistant? Yes, you can. All I right. shall teach you everything I know. In case I, in case I perish, I will. I will uh, put on with. Uh, uh, I forgot English, so never mind. Let's go. <laughs> what do you mean you forgot Dwarven. English? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired, and I'm afraid. <laughs> you <laughs> afraid? You're afraid. Um, I thought you um, loved it underground. Oh right, that's true. I have. I'm inspired in the dark. Aha! Uh-huh. Oh! Ooh. Okay. Also, uh, see, yes, that's why Paladin. everybody needs a good assistant. Yeah. Exactly. You have to remind me of where my heart is. Thank you, Paladin. You're a good. <laughs> you're a good chap. You shall and become my new villain. Just like, he just glows. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He just got complimented by one of Bilbo's dwarves. He's like, yeah, riding high. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I actually do. I roll three because I have that explore pack. So I roll oh, right. three uh, success dice on an explorer roll, which is awesome. I okay. just don't roll the two d12s, which is right. Huge. It's just not favored, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, and uh, Balin is also inspired if he wants Wait. to spend any hope points. So yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot how that worked. So if you're inspired and spend a hope point, you get two success dice. Yeah. Uh, but you don't get any if you don't spend the hope, right? Uh, so no. it's like zero to two. Yeah, exactly. Inspired just means that you get a one more d6 if you yeah, uh, if you spell a whole point. Oh, so okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So here's how this mechanic works. So for each successful explore check, each hour of of uh, of of real world time or of game 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 world time, uh, you make a check. If you're successful, I will roll a six sided die and tell you the result and so each chance that you get is a better chance if i roll a six you'll find something good oh, so okay. each roll is like another chance to get like something good um, all right okay so first oh. hour make your please make your explore check all right um uh so I, yeah that's that's a hit, like a 13 exactly. Ooh, okay. that was actually almost a miss. Ooh. Okay, ooh. But no sixes. Okay, no sixes. Okay, so you you make your way through these tunnels. You hear this, like, echoing of your own footsteps. Ooh, uh, all right, that is a five. You see at, at, a, at, a, at a turn in the tunnel, you see a broken pickaxe, a torn piece of cloth, and you, you've hovered a lantern over, you see the smear of blood on the wall, indicating that some poor hobbit met a horrible end here. Jeez. Um, okay, give me another check for another hour. Please be careful, everyone. Hold on to your butts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's another success, but no sixes. Okay. Um, all right. Maybe you shouldn't have eaten that extra morsel at breakfast. There is a tight squeeze in this package. Passage. Oh, no. Squeezing through has led to scraped knees and torn knuckles. 
Balin, you, actually, this is kind of perfect for you. You lose one endurance. <gasps> Pushing your way through. Okay. Okay. And you guys can switch off too. Like if you, if Paladin oh. wants to like try one or whatever. Yeah, like, exactly. You know. Paladin, okay. how about, how about you go ahead for a while now? Um, as really? he, as, yes. Are you yeah. sure? I believe in you, Boo. Yeah, let yes. Joe roll. Let Joe roll. He's been rolling like great, really great though. <laughs> he has, he has, yeah. All right. And he like walks forward. Careful, like, careful. Scans. scans. Not a oh. cliff. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Uh, all right, come on, Joe's gonna Joe. Uh, oh. Crush City. Okay. Awesome. Uh, that is a nineteen, and there's oh. a six in there, so okay, two sixes. Okay, so for each uh, each six that you get, I add one to this roll. Okay, so, so I got a six. Roll. All right, so it'll six plus one. Um, wow. Okay, you see another uh, sign of another dead hobbit oh. uh, there's oh. like another like a uh, set of tools that are like scattered and more and blood he gets scared he's like another one i had no oh, idea no. that hobbits no, no. died in these mines oh my goodness <laughs> yeah. they don't normally <laughs> this is a dangerous <laughs> job <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is our three is that right that was well, yeah that was the third one that yeah. was our three yeah okay all right let's give me another one all right me again? All right. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, success with a 16, no sixes. Okay. I roll a six. Ah, oh. yes. Paladin, nice, you yes. badass! Paladin, <laughs> you've improved, you've proved I, yourself today. I think I found something here. <laughs> Paladin, yeah, as you're kind of working your way through these tunnels, at one point, you hear this sort of almost like singing. It's this words are indecipherable and sort of ominous and sad. Uh, it's, it's coming from somewhere down the passage, but it soon fades to nothing. But following an instinct, you 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 go in that direction, and soon you see around a corner. You can see that there is a flickering flame that is casting jagged shadows at the end of a passage and as you come around you see that it ends in a pile of tumbled rocks and you hear ah, 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 you hear this mad cry echoing on the tunnel walls around you and you see a lantern set upon a stone casting these long shadows over a terrible sight a terrified hobbit stands in the front of a massive pile of fireworks piled up at the blocked end of a tunnel and he's feeblishly, feebly brandishing a shovel at what appears to be a grey hunched over orc <gasps> and he's screaming at this thing he says it's my treasure you monster mine mine I'll blow it to rubble before you let you have it oh my god uh, I'll say Paladin doesn't know what to do like he's like a deer in headlights. Paladin, stay back. And Balin takes out his axe. Okay. Yes! Yes! yes. <laughs> and he, he looks at Bilbo for old time's sake. <gasps> and I don't have a ranged weapon, so I can't do an opening volley, but I'm just. Um, he's gonna okay. rush. So we're just, okay, the, uh, we're gonna we're going to join <laughs> combat oh, for the first time. Uh, amazing! Uh, okay. I'm so into how like you're the rules arbiter. I love it. Yeah, yeah like, this oh, is great. It's it's rare. Rare. Opening valley here, but uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 proceed to melee round if you'd like. Yeah. To. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take this the open so stance. Great. Oh, you guys are not playing with the open the yeah, stances. Yeah, we're not playing. Right? So right. ordinarily, yeah. like in the full game, there's <laughs> sure. like a set of stances that you can choose from. Like we're not gonna. They, they give you different bonuses, bonuses and penalties depending on what you do. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna worry about any of that. Uh, for this, for the uh, for the for this, we're just going to say you're either in close combat or range combat um so balin has chosen to go into close combat uh what what are the rest you take uh, paladin what do you what do you do uh he'll take close combat 
Okay, you you charge in as well, Rory. What Once do you do? Once he sees Paladin, yeah, he's uh, encouraged. Uh, okay, Rory, what do you do? Rory will be right on the tail. He knows he wouldn't be able to live down any cowardice, even though he's very scared inside. Okay, so you're going to close combat too? Yes. Okay, uh, Lobelia, what do you do? I think she sees everyone. Like she tried to stay in the middle of the line the whole time because she's scared. Um, but she saw everyone run towards there, and now it's all dark where she's standing. So she's going to run towards there too, and I guess have her short sword out. And oh, right, try. you've got the decorative short sword. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. And finally, Ooh. Bilbo. What Bilbo? What do you do? Uh, so Bilbo <laughs> has been through this. <laughs> sure, has been through this many times with his old friend Balin, yeah. and he knows exactly what to do. So he's going to be ranged because my throne rocks are favored. Yes, that's oh. true. That's true. So. That's huge. Okay, and yeah, and you see, yeah. like as you reach down to like grab a stone, like you can see the hilt of Sting glowing blue in its scabbard. Like you can see that it's like it, it senses the orc. Okay, <sighs> so when when you come into view, um, mm-hmm. the Hobbit like turns and he screeches in in renewed fright, and he like freezes it's like it like uh like paladin did a moment ago and you real you know that like if this isn't resolved quickly uh like he has fire in his hand like this could be very very bad so um all right so all right so in this uh the uh the players go first um, okay. At least in the starter set. I don't f- know if that's true in the full edition or not. Ellie, do you know? Uh, I don't think there is an initiative order. Uh, I think it's just... Uh, mm-hmm. I think it's just rear-facing... Uh, and you do the pair like yeah, I don't I don't remember recalling doing any initiative. Uh, uh, I think there's a surprise there's a surprise round in the in the core rule book yeah. though. Like you can do surprises and. Uh, and the opening volley and things like that, but yeah, but this is uh, all simplified. So this is like yeah. the players all go first, and then yeah. the enemy goes. Okay, so yeah. uh, I just did auto roll for initiative just for the sake of uh, having or- and some kind of order organization. So, uh, have, yeah, so I have Lobelia going first. Lobelia, ah! what do you do? Uh, she's gonna whack at this orc with her short sword. Okay. Ah! Oh! So she has two pips in that, and you oh you still roll a feet die. Um, yes, yes. Cool. Come on, strength is like my worst one. It's at 16 target number. Yeah, this is tough. This is going to mm-hmm. be tough. Uh, 12. Okay, so you miss. You swing and like whiff uh, on this old, old decrepit orc. Uh, Paladin, what do you what do? you do? <clears throat> uh, we're, we're just trying to, we're just screaming and running and trying to hack at this orc. Yeah, uh, so far. Right, so he's just like, ah! and like totally like freaked out, and scared. He just like, ah! and hacks down with a wood axe at the at the orc. Okay. Uh, and I, I don't understand the rules that well. So what what am I trying to? Hit? Oh, just a success. Yeah, uh, yeah on my strength, success, right? Uh, on my on, strength. Yeah, what it is, it's like it's whatever your strength target number plus the parry number of your enemy. Oh, so that's impossible. All right, so I'll have It'll to be roll pretty a, hard. a Gandalf. Yeah. You have to get a Gandalf, probably. Uh, whew. How about a four? That will not be sufficient, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> four, grab you. I mean, yeah, this so is we, fitting. Like, n- none oh, of you guys 100%. have ever done anything like this. He has so, never like, been in combat in his mm-hmm. life. No, you've never so been in a fight. So he runs, he screams, and obviously this orc is flailing around on the ground, and he just, like, s- hits the ground, and the wood axe just, like, sends up a f- little flare of sparks on the stone. Ching! Awesome. Um, okay, uh, and Balin, you're close to the front. What do yeah, you do? Yeah, Balin, uh, Balin has been in this situation before, so he runs up and uh, swings his Balin's axe, and it's this. I I, I imagine this being huge, uh, the size of me, basically, yeah, Eleanor. Yeah. And um, and then he will say, "Back, you devils!" And then <laughs> go for it. You know what uh, he might say? He might say, Baruch Hazad, Hazad Aymenu. That is 100% what I'm going to yeah. say instead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's the awesome. axes of the dwarves. The dwarves are upon you. 
Oh, oh. amazing. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. But I'm not going to repeat that because... Baruch Harach. Well, whatever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. Uh, that's going to be 10. Uh, yeah, so that's a hit, but also 1-6. So it's a heavy blow, and I get plus 1 damage uh, okay. on my heavy blows. All right, so that's is, 7 damage. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 7 damage. Yep. Wow. Okay, so yeah, so... The, the Lobelia and Paladin like come through and just like are kind of flailing at him and then Balin just comes in and just like wham like lands a really solid chop yeah. right to this thing's this thing's chest it's like yeah. and it like reels backward in pain uh nice <sighs> job Bil- uh, Balin okay uh Bilbo all right, so Bilbo uh, sees this happen. And so wait, I can, because I'm favored, I can roll two feet dice, yes, correct? Yes, better of two feet dice. Mm, let's see. Oh, shoot. A one and a three. Oh, Already we're not doing so good. Oh, no, <laughs> no. Dang oh, it. no. Oh, a one, a four, and a six. Um. Okay. That's. It still doesn't make my target number for string. Okay, but, okay. But the six right, is two so. successes. Okay, it would be mm. if you had if you had made the target number, but yeah, you throw yeah. a rock and like who whizzes past his yeah. ear and like smashes against the rear wall. Um, Rory, all right, so I'd like to invoke the keen-eyed trait as kind of my own metagaming in this situation, which is he mm. sees this huge pile of explosives. Normally for fun times, he sees someone losing their shit and about to light it all. And he's right. worried about being in close uh, counters with it. So I don't know if I use my stealth to sneak up behind him and maybe disarm the flame or snuff it out or like pour a bit of my wine on top of it or something like that. I'm trying to do anything to stop that flame from hitting those fireworks. Um. Yeah, okay. Why don't you give me, give me a, Let's see. Well, give me a self check. Give me a self check. To do Excellent. That. that is favored for me and three pips. Yep. I'm going right in. Get nasty with it. Oh, uh, 21 over 13. Okay. So, yeah. So, you definitely kind of maneuver your way through the shadowy darkness. And, yeah, you pour uh, what's left of your wine uh, onto the fire, uh, dousing it. Luckily, it's not high enough proof to do anything worse. So- <laughs> okay. All right. So now it is the old orc's turn. Whew. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. Oh, let's roll. Let's roll a die to see who he goes after. No. Uh, Balin. Oh, good. Thank God. Oh, it's a Balin. Thank Balin. God. Okay. So it's got uh, three. Uh, tips and that. Uh, yep. that no, he misses with his spear. It's like whew, he like stabs the spear, and it like Balin, like you 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 dodge aside at the last minute, and it goes like boom right past your head. Okay, it is a new round, and mm. uh, Lobelia. I think she saw um, Balin just smash it and then also dodge and she was like oh, okay so I'll try to oh. and she tries again to stab him okay uh, let's go ooh oh I have two sixes but a four <gasps> on my 12 oh, I did it I got 16 Wait. and there's two yes. successes right uh, oh my god no. okay but what, what is your target number? 16. Okay, but unfortunately, you also no! have to beat his parry number on top of your of your target number. Oh, no. So that is a miss. <sighs> this is sad. Yeah, she you like you think you him. land a solid blow and he like knocks your sword aside at the last minute, the right the, the destroying your <laughs> brief moment of victory. Uh, She's like, I didn't consider is... he would do that. Block me. Oh. <laughs> Very rude. Uh, as rude as a hobbit of scary. <laughs> and it is Paladin's turn. Uh, okay. <clears throat> um, I was just reading over some of the combat rules. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it says, unless unless specified otherwise, the player heroes go first. So you're yep. right. And then that um, 
the the player hero's actions i think you just sort of decide who goes when but it's uh but uh melee at uh, close combat rolls are resolved first and then right. ranged attack right so ranged attacks go at the end of the round mm-hmm. right. etc and um yeah when you get hit and stuff you lose endurance and so you're yes. much and then and then they change the rules slightly for the starter set so that like there's no dying in the rules, which makes sense because they're lore characters. So it's like, right. if you get down to a certain thing, you go unconscious and then it moves on. But it specifies in the rule. It's like injury to death is like, look at the main rules for this kind of stuff. That's not what the Shire adventures are meant for. But Yeah, there's like, you can get, you can get wounded uh, if there's like, if you get, your enemy gets like a success die. Um like a 10 if they roll a 10 a 10 on or the, the gandalf die. rune yeah right and then they get like uh they can use well i think they can spend one or two uh extraordinary successes on a piercing weapon to wound someone <laughs> or there's another way to do it anyway um but yeah. that doesn't play in here uh we may explore this at some other point down the road but uh for now <laughs> yeah we'll just worry about the basic stuff so um, what did you get? What you did you did you hit? Uh, I haven't hit. I haven't swung yet. Oh, well, um, yes. right, so I am going to. I'm going to spend a hope. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel the desperation after that first swing misses. He tries to reset himself, no, and no. I'm just going to start spending hope because I need to. You're this right. is bad. Right. Yeah, this, this is pretty bad. bad. <laughs> I might have to. Ch- I might. I might change weapons because uh, the, the axe is a little unwieldy, but it, it does more damage. But I'm not. Here we go. Oh, and I have a picture of this orc too. If you'll refer to roll twenty, uh, you can oh, see. Oh, please. Yeah, Ew. It looks like there. Oh, that's oh, so perfect. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> because the like, art is yeah. amazing. The art is so good. Yeah, to yeah. us, he's like a, a skinny little orc, but like yeah. Yeah. to a hobbit, he is death. terrifying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a nightmare. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, bad. here we go. Paladin <laughs> takes a swing with his axe. <laughs> oh. No. Saw on I. Oh no! It oh, was such a no. high roll. I rolled a five and a four and oh, an eleven, no. so it's like probably a hit, but it's a saw on I. Oh God damn here it! Here in the dark, wasted the deep a hope. dark. Yeah. He so he misses again. again. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> All right, Balin. You he's have, losing uh, hope. Yeah, and he is. He yeah. just lost some hope. There, Literally. So yeah. Yeah. He's quailing. Stay in the fight, Paladin. Pa- Stay in the fight. Aim for the gut, and <laughs> Balin does just so as okay. he uses a ho- hope point. So I get plus two because okay. I'm inspired. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna roll a feet and five mm-hmm. freaking d sixes now. Oof, wow! Um, Holy smokes! That oh, I thought it was a one on the feet die, but it was a seven. Uh, so that actually yeah, that hits, but no sixes. Uh. Okay. Well, it, it hits. It's actually. Do you need the ex- exact for parry <laughs> reasons? Uh, yes. You, your target number would be fifteen mm-hmm. for you total with the parry. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. It okay. says in the core Great. rule book that like math mm-hmm. isn't necessary required in uh, in this game because it's like if you if you get the sense that you hit it, then you're fine. Like, yeah, you even like eyeballs. Like, yeah, that's a clearly yeah. a success. So yeah. So yeah. yeah. So but, what do you do, like Bali, and like describe your your blow here? Oh, uh, well, I said go for the gut, and so he takes, uh, on his first hit, he went one way, and then on mm. the, like, the recoil, so to speak, he just shoves it in the gut, and then just <laughs> uh, slice it, the entire orc open, uh, okay. with the, like, broadside <laughs> of his axe. Okay. And, like, and, like, intestines everywhere, is okay. what I would imagine. Well, you do. You stab. You you thrust the the flat end of your of your axe like into his belly. It's like, Ugh! and he like you, it pierces him. He knocks him back, and he's like scrambles on the ground, bleeding, and he runs off into the darkness, yeah. howling, uh, holding his entrails as they're pouring out his of entrails him. Oh. in. Um, <laughs> Is everyone all right? Paladin it's touches right, like his, his chest, his stomach. He looks down. I, th- I think so. He, he didn't hit me. Um, B- Balin turns around to Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> Why would you yeah. bring your friends into this? You know the dangers of the mines. I know. I should have known, known better to this, but... 
I've, I've always wanted to venture with a team, you know. I miss being on a thing on a team. I miss having people to do things with. I'm sorry. But if it be honestly, we need to ask Abelia who her father is hiring. <laughs> I see. I see what you did there. You're trying to deflect, but all right. Labelia, who's She's your father just hiring? Still sitting there, like with her sword out, like <gasps> like it hasn't oh. moved yet. Yeah, and we and we have this dude here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh is wait, is it Otho? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, is him. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Alright. So uh Paladin will, will turn to him and be like, put the fire down. Put it down now. With like a <laughs> scared look in his face. In in, that- in my face. Okay. Uh and yeah, there's no he has no fire now. Like you've uh, it's been yeah, okay. it's been doused. Um so he says, like, you're not taking my claim. Oh, no, sir. She snaps out of it. She's like, this is not yours. You stole this from my family. This is, these are my fireworks. What uh, are you no, doing no, with that? Your, your brother gave these to me fair and square. They and were I, not my brother's to give. Oh, he, his possession is nine-tenths of the law, as it they say not, here in the Shire. No, it, possession it is. is the law, and I possess these. I possess the fireworks, I possess them, your brother possessed them, and now I possess them, and now Question. I'm the law. Is he cute? Probably, yeah. right? He's, he's pretty cute. Oh, yeah. Especially to Lobelia. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. you're, you're definitely feeling this. Guy. What's so Lobelia's like, type? How dare he argue with me? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's got a little <laughs> spark. <laughs> Bowen uh, turns to Paladin and is like, if I didn't know better... Are they flirting? I would think that they're into... Yeah, are they flirting? Or, uh, I don't know women, as so you know. She, <laughs> so she gets a little Paladin's closer. Like, Paladin's like, oh, and he puts away his axe. Which she puts on her bury. sword and gets a little close. She's like, so you think these are yours then? Yeah, if I had the careless whisper drop, yeah. I would use it. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> so, she's like, all right, all right, all right. All right. Everybody calm down. I've got a deal. All right, so uh, if you all would agree to serve as witnesses, I've got I've got a contract here. I've made it up. If you, Lobelia, if you give me exclusive rights to this tunnel, I'll give you half of the fireworks back. That's a bad deal. Bad deal. You, you need can half- take them back to bar games or whatever you like. But uh, I'll get the rights of this mine here. I feel like I'm not getting much. What I am owed is what I have already owned, which is these fireworks, and all I'm getting is half the fireworks and less mine. Yeah, half is more than you came in with, and I'm offering you, if they're so Im- important here, I'm offering you half. And no one was using this tunnel at all. No one could figure out a way to get into you know. the deeper parts of it. There's another way that you could maybe own this tunnel. I'm listening. Oh. <laughs> Was that what they, they call Wendo? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my father owns this tunnel, so. <laughs> maybe you should take me out to dinner and maybe we can talk about how. Maybe you could own this tunnel. All right. I could, uh, I could go for a nice spot of uh, supper. And then you can have all the fireworks. All right. All right. <laughs> Again, I had no idea he was such a savvy flirt. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't need them all. I'll give you half, but... Um, I tell you what, I'll 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 uh, reimburse you for uh, for the rest. I'll give you cash. I get the mine. You get half of fireworks. We get a little spot of dinner, and uh, Bob's your uh, uncle. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, Blancho is my uncle, but I know what you meant. Yeah. Hey. Do we have a deal? Wait. And, uh, Wait. and um. Paladin's just going to talk to Bilbo. Uh, okay. You know, whispering to Bilbo, just like, but we can't let him have half the fireworks, right? No, no, I mean, 
there's there's uh, and so the three of us are like talking or maybe the four of us are talking <laughs> while Abelia is just like flirting and we're like I'm like she's she's hmm. giving it away I think and I, we, we can't let I them have any like we need all the fireworks this is yeah <laughs> yeah no this this woman is crazy I know what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> she's like the sun <laughs> Ellie this is the most anti-woman you've ever been in a session. We've ever played together. Ballin, the incel misogynist. <laughs> You're like, finally, I get to play a man so I can say what I really think about women. <laughs> um, All right. So um, you're on shake. There's some. Sh- there's some like shaky legal ground here because like yes, like mm-hmm. he actually is in pos- current possession of the fireworks. They've like been passed on to him by someone else who like had them legally. So it's uh, this is probably the best that you're going to be able to legally manage if he's not willing to kind of sell you the rest of them. Um, and you I think mean, like you you yeah. see what he's planning to do with them. And it's like, you know, at least, you know, if he does set them off, it'll be down here underground. Nobody else is going to get hurt uh, other than him, maybe. So uh, you think this is like maybe the best case scenario. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe Paladin is feeling a little confident Mm -hmm. from last night. Oh. (laughs) No. (laughs) Yeah, clearly. (laughs) Much too old for him. After that juggling exercise, he's quite (laughs) smitten. Uh, No, he's going to step up confidently in the tunnel and say, Uh All right, you know you want the fireworks, but what if we have a game of riddles for it? The (gasps) other half, at least. Okay, so, yeah, the riddle game is very difficult to resist in this world it's sort of it's binding it's 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 uh yeah this is like socially like this would be very very difficult for him to turn down so he's just like all right uh i'll go first <laughs> oh, no. you ready? Is I, just wanted, I just wanted to roll dice i don't uh, oh, you know, I, have a, I have a riddle and i in a blue face so an eye and a green face. That eye is like to this eye, said the first eye. But in low place, not in high place. And he crosses his arms. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm Wait. so terrible. I rolled dice. I'm so terrible at rules. <laughs> no, you gotta guess this one. Okay, say it again. Sorry, say it again. Say it again. An eye and a blue face. So an eye and a green face. That eye is like to this eye, said the first eye. But in low place, not in high place. Oh god! I you know. I suck at riddles. At riddles I. make me mad. Me too. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Roll I get a check. Just, just roll a check. We rage. <laughs> roll a check. We rage. I want to know the answer so badly now. If you if she succeeds at the roll, I'll tell you the answer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think it has go. something to do with trees. It's uh, it's something to do with something. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the roll. Uh, I I got it and I got a six. Okay, so you know that the answer to this particular riddle is an old one. Is a sun on the daisies? Mm. Sun okay. on the daisies. I have that's, that's I have a good riddle. Okay. okay, I have a good riddle. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. um. All right. Have you heard of this one? Perhaps I have. Beaches without sand. I have oceans without water. I have, uh, 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 yeah, that's the riddle. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sorry, I, my, my I, I, earphone stopped working, so I, I was it. like, <laughs> it's a panic. <laughs> I got it. This is what we need. We need, like, children's riddles. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Children's yeah. Oh, Come on, Joe. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a great riddle. Um, unfortunately, you're not part of this game. But well, well, thanks for the tip. But I think I'm gonna. I, I think <laughs> you can use that riddle if you want. This is like. But this I, is I'm gonna really go with, this violating is, a lot of the precepts. This is for here. you, Skit. I'm gonna go with. All right. Okay. What goes up, but never comes down. Okay. <laughs> uh, give me, give me a riddle check. Uh. Oh, all right, so I have to succeed or you get the answer, right? Okay, yeah, so if yeah. I fail, you don't... Uh, oh, my God, I rolled a one on the D12. Okay. 
Uh, so I failed. I failed. Shit. Okay. And he gets the answer, which is age. Okay. Age. Uh, <laughs> Unless <laughs> you're Benjamin <laughs> Button. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unless but, you're Benjamin Button. Uh, <laughs> wait, don't you want to know the answer to my riddle? Just oh, for, well, yeah, for what's the, the answer to your riddle? The uh, it's a map. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, of course. it's it's oceans without water, beaches without sand, and then there's two more that I forget now. Uh, what's you don't it? need them. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. You don't even need them. Forests, forests without trees, obviously. All right. Uh, All right. Yeah. That's good. That's good. All right. Yeah. So good. your turn, Skid. Okay. So oh, wait. Lotho. Make it a good one. Make it a good one. Lotho turns. I lost it? my music. I'm sorry. Oh, it's back. okay. Uh, Lotho turns his searing gaze on you. <laughs> he says, What has roots that nobody sees is taller than trees. Up, up it goes, and yet never grows. Oh, I know this. I know the riddle, but I don't actually know the I can't remember the answer. Okay. What was That's the first one? What was the first? What has? What has roots that nobody sees is taller than trees. Up, up it goes, and yet never grows. Oh uh, God, roots. I know that oh, riddle. Also, I've also heard this. Yeah, what is that from? All right, here we go. Uh, Paladin's riddle roll. Another one. Oh no! D- what? On the D twelve. Amelia knows this riddle. I, f- I don't know this riddle. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> I failed. Okay. He Shit. says, ha, it's a mountain. Sign the contract. And he oh, fucked up the contract. I died. I was so hot yesterday and I blew it. And you're forced to accept this horrible deal. It's not actually a horrible deal. Oh. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fine deal. It's a fantastic died. deal. Yeah, it's a fantastic deal. <laughs> so, so yeah. So you guys, like, uh, you, you sign this contract there in the darkness mm-hmm. by Lantern Light. Um, mm-hmm. You come outside and it's like uh, the first... Uh, horribly flawed rays of dawn um, are, are streaming down from the east. I mean, I honestly, I honestly think that that's the first time that sentence was ever uttered in the in the English language. The horribly flawed rays of dawn. I, I, I don't First time for everything. It was just so poetic and beautiful. He like slips it in there. Right. Yeah, no. It's like home Homer. It's like the rosy fingered, oh, flawed fingers. Um so you yeah, so you get out and like the, the, the officials and the miners are just starting to come to work. And um uh, do you tell them like what you found about the orc? Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes, we tell them um, thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you you share that with There's everybody. There's an orc down there. An and, orc. He, and he ran away. He got away and ran deeper into the tunnel. Oh dear! Well, that would explain a lot. Uh, that's uh, all right. Well, we'll send down a team to go deal with this thing. It's good. Good that you wounded him, and it, you know everything. It sort of gets yeah. around, and like they mm-hmm. they sort of like warm to you. Like after saying, like they can see like the you know the blood on like on your clothes and everything. They're like. Uh, they're 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 impressed. It's like it's this is like kind of like the scene with the Russian miners in Chernobyl. Like they all mm. just kind of like, uh, like okay, yeah. we respect you now. Um, yeah, Balin, and Balin looks at his motley crew of of like useless hobbits, and he's like, "Yep, you sure showed him." Okay. Because yeah. I don't think any <laughs> I don't think any of those got ever hit him, right? <laughs> useless. We wouldn't have found the orc without. Paladin's exploring skills. That's true. Fair. And we did all of that without a map. And bravery. Balin. Yeah. <laughs> right. Fair enough. Don't Fair forget enough. the bravery, the ceaseless bravery of Lobelia. <laughs> and I'll have you know, I will come back here and come and go whenever I please from now on. <laughs> and that's going to be pretty often. I love <laughs> mine's. Yeah, you've got a taste for the mines now, for the old family biz. Um, and Balin suddenly turns serious and is like, what I'm saying is, you need to get stronger in order to survive in this world. That's right, Amazing. we do! Amazing. Cue. Training montage. Yeah. Balin yes. running us dun, through dun, obstacle dun, courses. History <laughs> 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 just, repeats it it just it jogging it along the... Oh, God, what's the name of the river? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the, the brandy wine. wine. Yeah, the brandy wine. <laughs> Jogging along the brandy wine. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Uh, we, have, so we they, see Dolph Lundgren. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the miners, like, they treat you to, like, a hearty, simple breakfast. You're all ex- you kind of mm. exhausted, by the way. Like, you guys haven't slept in a couple of days, and they yeah. Yeah, teach you out of breakfast. Uh, the team comes back, like, after a couple of hours, and they tell you that um, they found signs of, like, um, but they went down the directions that you, you gave them, and uh, they found a deep passage that had been that was previously undiscovered. It was littered with bones of small animals, and it looks like remnants of an encampment, but no signs of the orc. Really? No blood trail or nothing? No. Hmm. Um, after uh, you finish up and you head back to Bag End, Bilbo stores the remaining fireworks in one of his cellars under lock and key. And we'll see what happens next. The final adventure of this <gasps> merry band oh. next week. <laughs> We will see. Oh Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ellie, for joining. Uh, Thank you, everybody, for doing another you. amazing job. Thank this you, Ellie, so for joining. Much awesome. uh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Thank you, Skid. Yeah. This is I great. love it Thank so much. You, Alicia. Thank you, Skid. It was great. <laughs> Thank you guys. So, this is, oh, so fun. This is amazing. I can I can live here forever. I can do this. Too. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to do this again. And I'm so glad you were able to join us. Uh, <laughs> congratulations to the winners, and yeah, we'll see you guys oh, next yeah. week. Oh, yeah, and if we haven't said it enough, happy holidays everybody. and happy, oh, holidays. Yeah. happy holidays. Thanks for happy watching. Holidays. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.